So, Daniel. So, Nick. If Jesus had a stand, do you think it would be a giant bunny? That's too good of a question uh, to a, open a this great way. question, right? That's way too good. Mm -hmm. huh, okay, here we go. What would Jesus' stand be? Would yeah. it be Santa Claus, though? Oh, fuck, that's another good one. <laughs> yeah. That's another... No, because I feel like Santa Claus is his own entity, right? But the yeah. Easter Bunny doesn't have enough personality to be its own... Yeah. Like, I feel like the Easter user. Bunny is his, like... Like shadow demon thing. Like, yeah, like, yeah, it's like that's his Maharaga. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like no Santa Claus would be his Maharaga. If You're Jesus right. had the ten shadows techniques, yeah. what would his ten oh it'd be the fucking disciples? Easter uh, yeah. One of them be a hooker. The strongest would be Judas, right? Uh, well, strongest but most dangerous. But like, yes, like sacrifice. Yeah, it's like yeah. He, that's his Maharaga. Yeah. Judas is his he's Maharaga. He's like, I can't use Judas for too long or it'll kill me. Uh, listen, he's got the <laughs> knife, he's got the knife. I, I'm just I'm trying to eat dinner and he's just looking yeah. at me. Yeah. I love that. Jesus is stand I'm trying to think of something more creative, even though the Easter bunny does work because I like to it's, think Easter it's like, currently. it's like, um, I, I think his stand would be like nail God or something. Yeah. And it would immediately like punch holes through certain parts of your body. <laughs> right. Like you would be like, Oh, you're fighting Jesus on water Two, Like he can, one, he can walk on water and two, he just punched holes in the bottom of your feet. And now you're sinking. Do you think he'd get like, a like an Ichigo, like shadow bankai form. That's just Satan. That'd be kind you know? of cool, but it's like a snake wrapped around his neck, right? That'd be the sick. The apple. You got to bring the apple in somehow. Yo, has anyone done like hot boy emo Jesus like that, where he's got like a snake necklace, like taking a bite out of an apple. Oh, for he's sure. got like the nails still coming out of his hands. There is absolutely some youth pastor out there who got that commissioned. But <laughs> the, be the beautiful part of this is that we could make this with AI in like 35 seconds. I'm looking up. Because I support artists in their work. I'm looking oh, up. Oh, you're looking up uh, like, uh, the Jesus e -boy fan art Jesus. drawers? E-boy Jesus. Hot E-boy Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to put you on some kind of Catholic watch list, but. I got to do emo Jesus because E-boy Jesus is just Jesus looking hot. <laughs> emo Jesus persona, apparently. Oh. Um, oh, yep. Yeah, no, they have emo Jesus. Oh, I he's see. got a gun. Oh, I don't see that. Oh, uh, this is a Persona 3 thing by the looks of it. Oh. Um, I love Persona 3. Pale young man in, I believe, Persona 3. Um, that is Emo Jesus. But when you pull up Emo Jesus uh, Persona, it's just a, a boy with headphones and a blue comb over. I've played none of the Persona games. Oh, they're fun. You wouldn't like them. Whoa, is this guy really in... Persona 3, yeah. Pale Young Man. This Pale dude Young looks Man is, is just emo Jesus. This dude looks dope. Revolver Jesus. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. Because if I feel like if Jesus was going to have a weapon, I don't know. A revolver feels inaccurate, actually. I feel like he'd have <laughs> yeah, a big-ass wooden stick with nails coming out of it. I feel like it'd be cool if he had, like, a war hammer mm -hmm. that's, like, a long pole and then, like, a stake, like, at the end of it, you know? Jesus Christ, Vampire Hunter. Yeah, that'd be maybe. pretty dope. It's like maybe. the Abraham Lincoln zombie hunter one, but like way more controversial. What do you have like egg grenades? Because the you hide eggs. How Eastery is he? You know, that's I, you'd like to think because like, are we taking the Christ out of Easter? Or are we putting the Christ into Easter? What is Easter? Is that when Easter he died? Easter is when he came, when he back, came to back. No, Good Friday is when he died, which okay. is a weird thing to celebrate. It's like the sequel to Christmas. I think Good Friday is when he died. Yeah, Good Friday is like he like oh everyone, uh, which is like doesn't oh, seem that doesn't, doesn't seem that good to me. Yeah, that we, shit Friday. Yeah, bro. we fucking <laughs> nailed. You know that you know two other people got nailed to crosses next to Jesus. Nobody ever talks about him. I think it was like a field of people. I'm pretty. I think it was just two people. Crazy. Yeah, no wow. one talks about them. Where's their story? It's like everybody else who died with Kobe. You know, no one talks about them. Fucking, there's like nine <laughs> other people in that helicopter. You know, <laughs> that's <laughs> damn true. <laughs> it's like an entire like woman's like basketball team in there. Yeah. It was like, ah, Kobe. Damn. It's like fucking everybody hit the mountain, man. <laughs> yeah, it's like why'd you take Kobe? Yeah, it is like there was children in there, yeah. <laughs> like a lot of them. Damn. Yeah. So uh, if uh, if Eve, if, if Jesus had a stand, what would it be? I thought you're like if any of you Jews have a problem with this. Me. I don't know why. I'm the one with the problem. <laughs> that's why no. You like. Uh, for real though, if, if Jesus did have a stand, what would it be? Would it be Santa Claus or would it be the Easter Bunny? Tell us in the comments below. Yeah. But hello, we're Talks and Adams, and it's Easter morning. Uh, me and Danny kind of look like hot garbage, and that's because it is 10.56 on a Sunday, <laughs> which is earlier than either of us usually get out of bed. But Danny unfortunately had a falling out with his lovely girlfriend, Sarah, uh, mostly because she is currently on what some would call a suicide mission yeah. to the White House. She's at the White House trying to kill Joe Biden right it's, now. Yeah, and so it's a whole thing, and Danny was 
was like, but I love you. And she was like, but the animals and the eggs are yeah. using real eggs this year. They're actually forced, they're forced shaking chickens to shit eggs around the White House <laughs> it, lawn. So she's there representing. It's just a big funnel into a meat grinder. And Joe <clears throat> like cracks an egg and like dumps a baby chick into it yeah. and then serves it live <clears throat> on spot uh, to some child who yeah, eats well, the chicken nugget. It's, it's mostly because like Biden is like a lizard person. So it's yeah. like, he has to like unhinge his jaw <laughs> to like eat real, like whole live chicken. And then he makes the eggs because lizards because lizards lay eggs. He's just in the middle of an address, just cracks an egg like partially open, <laughs> sucks it out. Just, <laughs> that's why we're we're going for Iraq again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Iraq to electric bugaloo. Yeah. All right, just like stabbing the bottom of an egg and cracking the top, shotgun again. Yeah. Uh, no, so Danny had to drop off his his incredible girlfriend to LAX uh, because she is at the White House. Because she is actually at the White House. She, um, so her uh, job. Which I don't know. We've said before, but I guess I won't say. I was going to say, I was like, do I say it? And I then know. I was like, am I doxing Sarah's position? Yeah. Uh, do you ever wonder or worry? Not that like any good boyfriend. No. I I believe you. I, I, just, I believe you. I just rarely <laughs> worry about yeah, things. Exactly. Like, I just, I just am not worried. <laughs> Crack an egg. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like worried to you? Um, do you ever worry about like, and again, I, I know it's like poor boyfriend etiquette to be like preparing for a potential breakup. Do you ever worry like it's if you break ridiculous up ridiculous how similar you and Dorothy are? Do you ever worry if you break up with Dorothy, she's going to get a wave of like random hate sent her way? Oh God, no, that has never <laughs> once crossed really? my mind. No, I, I have like an irrational fear that even if I break up with Sarah amicably and we like shake hands yeah. and are like, well, off you go. Maybe that's why you going to get do it live. into hell. Maybe that's what YouTubers like. That's why they make a video. They're like, we yeah. broke up. And it's like, everyone's like, we're still friends. So everyone can be like, all right, don't fucking mm -hmm. nail a cross to her door. Yeah. I thought about that. I love the idea of Sarah just getting just slayed by your Tumblr community. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, like Sarah, the world's <laughs> sweetest woman, just being like, you are, you, you, are, you broke his heart. Harlot. And she's like, he cheated on me. <laughs> just a whore written on her lawn in blood and like lamb's blood. And the rest of the lamb is just there, like <laughs> still alive. Like, fucking, like, I watched him live break one of my yeah. guinea pigs necks. <laughs> like, I'm just like, I'm sorry. We couldn't bounce back from that. It's like we have an episode where I bring the last guinea pig on just bite its neck suck just it Aussie dry it. Yeah. just suck it dry and then like she's like I broke up with him for that this is my story yeah. and just hate yeah it's all just like hate. hate from Australia yeah uh, but yeah, um, no, I've never once worried about that at all that's just why I. But also, Dorothy's the person who's like, well, you know, if we break up, not wed. I mean, fuck, I'm, she's probably if said, we break she's up, probably she's said a, wed before, but she's, she's doing like, an expose. She's, she's the if person, and I'm like, uh, I will kill myself <laughs> before I leave you, person. Yeah. So, yeah, no, it's that's why every. It's so weird. All my male friendships, I am the woman in their relationship. Yeah. I am Sarah. I am Mackenzie, and both you and Amos are shades of Dorothy. Mackenzie is more dude than any guy I've ever met Love in my Mackenzie. life, though. Mackenzie rules. She's. A boss bitch. Yeah. She's not going to hear any of this. But we have a lot to talk about this week uh, outside of uh, Sarah possibly killing Joe Biden. Yeah. Oh, to finish off, Sarah had a flight uh, to the White House oh, at yes. 8 a.m. So I had to leave the house at 5 a.m. Nick lives kind of close to LAX. So I was like, hey, can I sleep on your couch? Yep. Uh, and then we just roll out of bed and do the pod. Yep. That's exactly what happened. And that's why we look like garbage. Yarg. It's early. Yarg. <laughs> we look better than Jesus, though. Actually, he's ripped. Yeah. Anyways, we had a lot to talk about this week. Uh, there is the last episode of Soul Leveling that came out that me and Danny just watched together over breakfast. Yeah. It was very cute. We finally did the thing that Danny's been yearning for where we just sit down and watch something together. You have such a cute, like fourth grader just before school like breakfast routine oh yeah where you have like he has his little like bowl of yogi yep and in little 170 crumbies. grams 170 grams exactly i yep. saw him weigh it mm -hmm. 170 grams of yogurt 130 grams of fruit <laughs> okay and then 70 grams of cereal okay it doesn't why uh because those are the those are the those are the recommended serving sizes just for what a growing boy for uh oh if you're going to eat strawberries it's 100 it's actually 50 grams but i do strawberries and mangoes or a banana uh and like so the recommended serving size for the fruit in the morning on a carbohydrate basis is 130 grams and then the recommended serving size for zero fat Greek yogurt is 170 grams. Wow. And then the cereal, I mix two cereals because I get real crazy with it. The protein packed cereals. I love them. Um, I'm not going to say where they're from because I think they might be being struck currently. Oh, fine. Um, yeah, they're just kind of in like a perpetual state of being struck. Uh, and so I mix the two. 
And then it's like one of them is like the serving size is 62 grams. The other is like 57. I'm like, I'm going to split the diffy. So I do 30 and 30. <laughs> I gotta, and I've eaten that every morning for the past seven years. <laughs> I'm going to have you text me that because I am desperately trying to turn my health around because mm -hmm. it's garbage. It's yeah. absolute garbanzo. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll have you text me that. I got to try that. I love it. Yeah. I love not. I just oh, roll it. I've had the same tea and the same thing for breakfast for the last seven years. I don't I get am. flavor fatigue. I just love I also, simplicity. I love the idea of eating the same thing every day. Mm -hmm. I've been doing that with Raisin Bran since I was four. Yeah. Uh, but apparently that turns your brain to fucking battery acid. What do you mean? Ra like processed oh, like raisin cereal. Brain. Yeah, Raisin Bran. You know, get Raisin Bran. Yeah, yeah Raisin Bran. <laughs> um, processed cereal turns your brain into goop? Yeah. That explains a lot. I've eaten cereal every day for the last seven years. True. Yeah, this isn't helpful, actually. But replace it with granola. That's like the first guy hearing like, cigarettes do what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, uh, they said a pack a day keeps the doctor away. Yeah. I thought this cough was healthy. Um, but yeah, uh -oh. so early, early morning. Oh, but you have an adorable little like, Nick has his little bowl of cereal and mm -hmm. yogurt and he has his big like tray. Uh -huh. like. I have, like, one of the, I, have a, I have a table that folds out. It comes it yeah. comes up and out. And Nick, Nick just like is sitting in the center of this massive couch, nibbling at his yogurt and going, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when funny stuff happens. Yeah. On anime. <laughs> I, that's what I do every single morning. I sit down, yeah. I make myself breakfast, I watch anime, I have Wagyu and Neutron next to me. And then when I finish my bowl of yogurt, I like, I'm like, like, I'm like licking out the side. So what I do is I take the bowl, I put it between the two of them yeah. and then they lick out the rest of the yogurt. And then yeah. we all call it a day. I have my, my multi vitamins and I go, multi. I go shower and then I, I do work. I, I take my malted vitamins. My multi, yeah, I'm just like, oh yeah. <laughs> oh. They're like, I like plunge my hand into the, the 40 that I have just yeah. filled with vitamins. And I'm like, what am I getting today? <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Um, I just take a random vitamin. Yeah. Oh, C. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is this, oh, I think that's melatonin. Now, whatever. Yeah. Just, I, love the, I love the idea. I love the idea of a pill jar. Just a, yeah. just a pill jar. And like some yeah. of them are like Klonopins. Yeah. Yeah, it's like vitamin B, vitamin B. Xanax! <laughs> Guess who's not working? <laughs> Fuck, that would be so much fun. I, I took I'm gonna a do random my, pill every I'm gonna day I'm going to do that for my next video. party. My next house, house party. I'm like, take one. Yeah, is, it, is it baby Advil or is it Fens? <laughs> who knows? Molly? <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm so tired. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right. I don't know why I'm a morning person. That, I, offered yeah. you a, I offered you a redacted. They haven't sponsored the podcast. Oh, yeah. I I ate. I ate it. What? What? G Fuel. Oh. Yeah. Well, you've Factor offered, has Factor you, has actually sponsored this podcast. I was gonna before. say you gave me a sponsored oh, yeah. breakfast. <laughs> it's my so, entire life. Like, I'm drowning in sponsors. Yeah. Um, and I said, hell no. I don't like energy drinks. I, they freak me out. It's fine. I already have like a small little hamster heart. You I think okay. You're a nervous person to begin with. But what do you mean? I think I think Sarah's <laughs> more. I think Sarah's is, Sarah's too in the know to be some like with somebody like you. So like, you'll be consuming something, and Sarah will be like, "Oh, haven't you heard that murders you?" And you're like, "Oh fuck, <laughs> the options were already so limited because you yeah, already I only know. eat chicken." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like you're just having an egg, and she'll be like, "Oh, I heard eggs." Um, Pr promote communism and you're like oh no that's one of my three foods what do you mean comrade damn it <laughs> the yolk it's running through me uh but we do have a lot to talk about this week uh we got the last episode of mashal i watched all of has been hotel uh we got the last episode of soul leveling we have a little bit of news and uh that is actually about it but we have a lot to talk about yeah I mean, we have like an entire yeah. show to chat about yeah, boy so. do we uh, we do you want to open with Soul Leveling or you want to open with Hasbun Hotel? Let's do Soul Leveling because it's freshest. <sighs> Fuck, I want to talk about Hasbun Hotel. All right, okay, fine. talk about why do you ask that? I know it's fine, it's fine, dying, 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 because there's the, the illusion option. of option here. I don't want you want like a fucking Bethesda game. I don't want the illusion it's of like choice. It's like America. It's like, oh, here, do this. And then it's yeah. like, it's going to be wait. Vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're not changing these. Yeah. <laughs> Steal in the vote again. God damn it. I'm talking horrible. about the electoral college. That's why we're going to kill Joe Biden. Yeah. Lock it in. Actually, we sent Sarah. It's not us doing I it. I can't we're wait going. for the footage to come out of just my tiny girlfriend, like, 
like right into his neck with like a chicken bone. Like she's so small that she like everyone thinks that she's one of the kids waiting yeah. in line to get blessed by Joe Biden. Yeah. And she's just like she like snaps her arm, pulls her pulls her tibia out. <laughs> I don't like how neither of us know what Joe Biden's doing for Easter. Uh, Nick was like, "Why is Sarah there? What does he do with the yeah. eggs?" And I'm like, "Blesses them." I don't yeah. know. <laughs> she's like, "Cause I know there's like a line of kids yeah. that meet Joe Biden or yeah. something, and he's like, he's a cat yeah. blessing them or something." Yeah, he just like gently touches their chin and makes them open their mouth and he spits right in their throat <laughs> and close their mouth and pats them no, on the head. No, like the eggs come out. He's like, <laughs> Just like fucking. I love the idea of parents being like, "Yay, go get him, Timmy!" <laughs> like as like, Joe Biden's jaw just fucking unhinges. Just like puts his limbs against a kid's, and they're like, "He's kissing my kid!" And then you see the egg like transfer from his throat to theirs. Like, oh, that's just old Joe egging him. <laughs> Giving him the egg, the Sarah's, Easter egg. They were just shaking with a camera, just being like, "Why was I chosen?" Oh, yeah, fuck. you know how <laughs> Easter goes. So we're tapped into both religion and government, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. That's, vote. Uh, that's why you go, <laughs> go vote. Go Pokemon. Yeah, go Pokemon. To go to the polls, baby. Speaking Otherwise, of hatching Joe's eggs, gonna egg your kid. <laughs> Not in my America. Yeah, Trump oh, would fuck. never. All right, soul leveling. Um, Fine. it was really good. It was good. It was good. Yeah, it was good. Was it as good as last episode? How could it be? So what we're talking about? We're talking about episode twelve, the um, season finale, apparently. Which is wild. Yeah. It being twelve, like I don't, I don't get why they would do that. I looked it up mm -hmm. when we switched the pod to Sundays mm -hmm. because Sarah's like hates that it's on Sunday. She's like, oh, well, weekend. I days. love that it's on it's Sunday. It's awesome. It's the yeah. best thing ever. It's been a very narrow type uh, type <laughs> rope yeah. to navigate, but um, it uh, I looked it up and I was like, how many weeks is this gonna be for? And it, they said it was twenty four episodes. It's twelve episodes. So we can go back to we can go back to Thursday. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's like so is uh, so leveling over. It's like you won't believe it. Yeah. They're going for a hundred episodes. <laughs> <laughs> you won't believe it. You know how Naruto comes out every week <laughs> forever. <laughs> yeah. We're just they're actually yeah. they brought the mangaka back. He's rewriting the entire yeah. story. Yeah, I love it. I love doing it on Sundays. I have so much time during the week. It's awesome. I mean the the compromise is that other than today, obviously, like. We'll probably shift to closer to evenings so that like we have Sunday. I don't so know, that we've thing. showered before <laughs> yeah, rather than 6 a.m. It's so inconsiderate to the lovely patrons and YouTube members who uh -huh. subscribe to watch this live. Yeah. That there is no set time. Yeah, God, no. There's no schedule. It's time. just like them being like, uh, also, we <laughs> like change the day fairly frequently. So it's just them like constantly. That's why we need notifications on. It's like, holy fuck, yeah. we're live at 7 a.m. Yeah, we don't even we're not even like, oh, later today, it's going to be at 3 p.m. It's just like, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> we're here. We're here now. <laughs> we still do pretty good. Like still like 50 to 60 people show up to watch us every yeah. single time. So. We're here. We're sweating. Yeah. Get used to it. Hey, you got the window open and everything. Yeah. You're the one wearing a sweatshirt. I'm referring to you. That's why I wore a loose shirt. That was such a fucking assassination you on my part. That was such a betrayal. I, listen, this is, listen, this is a good shirt for my sweatiness. People were saying <laughs> that I wore a tank top the last episode so people couldn't see the sweat. And I was like, wait until you see my back. <laughs> it is wet. I can't, no sleeves, still a back section. I love that you are like, I like, I like you owning that you're wet. Oh, I'm a sweaty boy. <laughs> it's good. I, I like just, it. listen, this is me in my pocket. Anyways, uh, so the episode was all about uh, mm. The fucking uh, Jin Wu unlocking his necromancy abilities, yeah. which I mean, you uh, did you have feelings on it? It's cool. It's random. It's yeah. kind of funny. Mm. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I've oh a, a new class. I've put all my points into strength and agility. Mm. Maybe I'll become a fighter or an assassin. Necromancer. <laughs> Like, it's like, what is this shit? And then he's Which like- Which is also like the least Chad mage you can be. I know. Well, and then he's like, no. And then the thing's like, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Are you sure? Have you thought about <laughs> ghost boobies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's like, well, fuck. I have a question. Yep. Has he thought about ghost boobies? I probably Do not. they come up? I'm, does he ever kill a woman? <laughs> <laughs> Follow up question. Well, that's the thing. So I love the idea that he's like- I, I have to kill women now. <laughs> I need time ghost Time to boobs. build the army. Yeah. I don't think he ever kills a woman. I think... Uh, Good for him. I... 
kills a lot of men. Yeah. Because he can only turn so he can convert the basically the way that the ne necromancy things works. I think he can convert either people he's killed or all dead people into like his shadow army. I and, like, go I go to like like Sacred Hearts Morgue for Women. Oh, <laughs> morgue yeah. for hot I love women. the idea of just being yeah, just like <laughs> we just gotta keep pumping these <laughs> these <laughs> dead prostitutes in yeah. here. <laughs> just like it's like why are we what are we holding on to these yeah. for? So like please uh police commissioner, take me to the morgue. Well sure. And he's like Take me to the women's morgue. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one that smells better. <laughs> yeah, that can take me there. Yeah, no, so like he, his entire ability is that he can like raise an army. Yeah. Uh, and then he can like raise them and he can either choose to store them or choose not to store them. And the, <laughs> ability, the ability is ridiculously broken. Yeah. Because he can just summon them. They can be like wherever. They just operate as a giant army for him and he can summon them to his location. Uh, he also got ruler's hand. Uh, yeah. Earlier than Out I remember it happening in the Manwa. Yeah. And he's like, oh, I can't pick anything heavy up. And meanwhile, like three seconds later, when he's battling against a bunch of knights, he's just like picking knights up and yeah. using them as battering rams yeah. against other knights. Had did you ever played Devil May Cry four or five? No. For anyone I who played four, not five. Do you remember the hand? Yes. Nero's mm -hmm. hand? It's that. It's literally that. Yeah. In Devil May Cry four and five, Nero a character you play as just has like a ghost demon hand mm -hmm. and so does Jin Woo. It's gotta be one of the better, it's gotta be one of the better abilities. Like if I like out, out of all the abilities you could ever get, I think almost everyone's going to choose either teleportation or flying telekinesis pretty high up there. It's definitely. Yeah. It's sick. I think but I if it's only your hand. That kind of sucks. I mean, it's like, I, I think teleportation is definitely the best just because I am so like, can, Consistently inconvenienced oh by God, distance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just the most convenient. And flying. You'd still be late. You would yeah. find a way to be late. You'd be like, I just, I, fucking, I don't know. Yeah. There was quantum traffic or something. It's and like, hubris. It's I was hubris. like, you were playing Dragon's Dogma <laughs> yeah. and you forgot. Yeah. I was never on time to a class ever in college. That's wild. I would have a 2.30 p.m. class. I'd live on campus. I'd have nothing before <laughs> it. And I'd Hours. show up crazy late. Mm. <laughs> like, that is wild. Yeah. It's a good thing that you were a film major. Yeah. That's Thank like I, like doing that in like engineering. You show up late and everyone's like, boo. And everyone like you literally show up and everyone's like, the professor's like, thanks for joining us. And I'm like, okay, fuck off. This is bio 101. Yeah. Yeah. So but, teleportation for you. Yeah, what would you what'd you pick? Probably teleportation. It's the best. But one. I would use it for nefarious means. I would I would rob a bank. <laughs> I would rob a bank. You just like Blink into existence, touch boob, and then blink out, and they're like, I can't. <laughs> they're like, I think it's like you remember that you know about the guy in New York who's like the serial puncher. Yeah, yeah, he's like the the serial hunkers going around. Just, it's like they be they be selling Kevlar bras. He's <laughs> <laughs> stabbing them. No, like you can't honk around yeah. Kevlar, you know. Yeah, Bring like, back the breastplate. I like the idea. They're like, huh? I was too quick the first time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would rob banks. Have you ever seen the what is it? Not Looper, Jumper. Yeah, with yeah. uh, yeah. with the Jumper. First thing he does is rob a bank. I knew the first thing he does is rob a bank. That's immediately what I would do. Yeah. I'd be like, hey, I, that's my thing. He's also like, can I see the safe or something? Yeah. Like, hey, we're giving we're giving safe guides or something toward. Or I'm like, yeah. who does this? Yeah. Like, okay, here's all the money. It's like cool. Now we can yeah. start drawing out plans here. Come on down to Chase Bank. We're giving a safe tour. Yeah, I, I also it's a I bunch of doubloons. I don't know if I've ever been to a bank with a, a safe before. No, it's all digital. <laughs> yeah, it, well, like they have like money in the drawers, yeah. but like I think they have like little safes under. I yeah, fuck it, I don't know. I just <laughs> jump into like Jeff bull. Bezos's room, stab him a bunch, and steal his gold I like, thought, copy of himself. I thought about that. If I was a teleporter, if I was a jumper, if you mm -hmm. will, first thing I do was be like avoid the paladin, the weirdly Christian paladins with electricity. Yeah. That was yeah. that was a <laughs> wild undertone to that where they were like, this goes against God. Why are the Christians upset? <laughs> yeah, the first thing I would do if I were a jumper is uh, I'd be like, wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. We could get ties with all the lies you've been living in. And if you would <laughs> me again, again, I would understand. And yeah. Um, so you jump off a building. I kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Good shit. Yeah. I, no, but yeah, I'd uh, I'd rob a bank. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, for cool. sure. Yeah. How did we get to third yeah. eye blind? Oh, I'd kill, but because that song's called Jumper. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Um, I'd kill a bunch of uh, politicians. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. the Death Note? Yeah. That's what I would do with the Death Note. I would... 
Yeah. My list would be quite as long. For sure. There's Close just, to as long as lights. Just so many people who just don't deserve to be alive. Just flush it out. You yeah. know, just fucking... Just to see what happened. Just to see what happened. Yeah. You know? Also, I feel like Light didn't have enough fun in Death Note because he can like literally write them to die, however. And if he like just writes their name, they have a heart attack. So yeah. boring. What yeah. about like uh like a uh, head explodes, attacked by a group of birds? I would have yeah. so <laughs> much fun. Like, clown army. Like there were uh, the amount of possibility yeah. you could go with, like does a 360 no scope compilation in real life jumping yeah. off a building. I'd like, see how vague I could get. Like I'd write Jeff Bezos circus. 40 minutes. That'd be 40. <laughs> <laughs> it's like stumbles into the middle and it's just like one elephant like slowly going to step on him. He's like, why is no one stopping this? Move them? it! Move it! Somebody push this thing! Uh, <laughs> It'd be the first 30 minutes are like, please, please, please somebody please. do something. He's just shoot it, shoot it. And then the last 15 is, ah! <laughs> slowly but surely just... Yeah. Oh, that'd be good. Uh, yeah. We deserve the Death Note. I feel like if anybody deserves it, it's us. The most interesting thing about Death Note, and like I was going to say no one really explores it, but I feel like a lot of things do. It's just hard to make it interesting. Yeah. Is seeing, like, I'd love to have teleportation. I'd wear a dumb mask or something. Mm -hmm. Or I wouldn't. I wouldn't wear a mask. Who's gonna stop I'd, you? Well, I'd like that being said, like they'd be like, uh, d yeah, Danny? they'd be like, get, get every assassin. Yeah, on this that, guy. literally. Like, but um, I'd teleport to all of these like politicians, mm -hmm. and like you know, I'd do like thirty seconds of Google research to find out which ones are bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hillary, good question uh, mark. It's, it's funny like, that no. like I'm like this noble crusader. I can't <laughs> name more than like four politicians. I'd also just like to scare a bunch of them. You know, I just, well, I'd like, like to scare the piss out of Joe Biden. It'd probably kill him. <laughs> that's but what I'm saying. The most interesting thing is I want to see how the world would respond to just this like seemingly unstoppable like polit politician disease mm -hmm. where I just pop in and they arrest me. And I'm like, hey, guess what? Bye. <laughs> Boop, yeah. Just gone. Mm -hmm. like, that would be great. I would just like, I would get a really weird outfit. Like I would get like a monkey outfit and I would just confuse people, mm -hmm. I think. I think I would just like jump in front of people and just like, Hoo! and then it's gone. <laughs> it's like, I would have so many people convinced they were schizophrenic in like a week flat. I would have True. so much fun. Just convince them they're mad. Yeah. That'd be good. That'd be dangerous with politicians, though. Oh, yeah. You don't I mean, want to. This, this is late game. This is like, this is like four months after my tirade. It's just X's. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Every ex that's ever hurt me, I was just like, yeah. I think I'm being hunted by a gorilla. <laughs> yeah. I would just like pop in and be like, I hate you. <laughs> yeah, like, like, huh? Huh? yeah. Also, like, I, but here's my thing with the jumper thing, right? You have to, you've had to, you have to have the pictures. The jumper, the jumper mechanic for teleportation is the worst fucking one. I hate that. It's, like, in a week, I'm gonna get the fucking thumbnail of like, j like jumper hidden things you missed in jumper mm -hmm. from your channel. Oh, absolutely. Go on. I'll then. go through it. Well, you need the photos. It is like, and then everyone's like with teleportation. Like, oh, uh, you can teleport to the coordinates, but because the Earth is always rotating, like you don't know if there's still be. Fuck off. Yeah. Fuck, I just want to think of a place and I go there. Yeah. I would. Oh. I'd be in Japan in the afternoon for like a little ski. I would like be in Hawaii for a little yeah. surfing. I probably wouldn't use it that often. I probably would. I'd use it so frequently. I'd sell my car. Do you think you would stop working? Working? You think you like you get teleportation powers tomorrow? Would you like like buy Wait, YouTube? Here's the difference between us. Okay. A little bit. Because I don't. You think enjoy what you do. I enjoy what I yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do content because I'm arrogant i also enjoy what i do i know you do i, I just there's nothing to... more i enjoy than not working yeah exactly which is so fair yeah it's so like it's not that you're like oh i hate that this is my job but you're like man wouldn't it be cool to retire at 30 i'm like oh, like uh, who could argue i'm like living on a beach in yeah. like vietnam would be kind of sick uh, that's so fair yeah and like working does put in insane amount of stress on me like mm. i'll put out a video i don't find that funny and i'm like it's over. <laughs> it's over. And then it's like, oh, like yeah. 400,000 views. And you're like, yeah. never mind. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a gaming page now. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, I'd still probably work. I'd use, I'd use teleportation the way that I use YouTube. And that is to forward my dream of making a film. So you would just like be like, you would just like pop in. Spielberg and be like, yeah. Give Danny Mata a job. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, huh. It's like Spielberg found dead of a heart attack. Yeah, yeah. Like, all right, I gotta approach the soft. God damn it! God damn it! Guys, I'm going to all the old ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pop over. I'd I teleport if 
you know, it'd be funny. Wait until Spielberg goes back down in a sub again. And he's like in his one man sub expedition. James Cameron, and, but go on. Oh, fuck off. Like, it. They're all old the white men. Who cares? Wait until God. he's down there and just like pop in. She's like, job, <laughs> yeah, job, it's, job. It's like, you're like, you're like holding a hammer and a nail against yeah. the window. And you're like, job, job. <laughs> yeah, I'm like outside thing. It's like, it's me. Yeah. I'm what you were searching for. <laughs> down I am the Titanic. <laughs> That'd be so sick to like. He, like, go to the bottom of the ocean, and you get there, and there's just a man standing down there, and he's, like, completely naked, and he turns around, and he's just like, it's me, I'm the ocean. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, the guy who's the ocean. I actually just pee, like, yeah. a lot, and I think, like, I'm, it's clogged? I think yeah. you got microplastics clogged my toilet. Yeah. So, uh, actually, can you, can you come out here and help me? He's just holding a sea turtle in one hand and, like, stabbing a straw <laughs> in its nose with the other, like, actually, and then he just lets I've it been, go. <laughs> I've been doing this. Like, just I'm, grabbing them. Actually, the paper ones are better for this. Yeah. yeah. Like, actually, it's like, they're, they're squirmier. Yeah. It's so funny. Anyways, soul leveling was good. Um, yeah, I don't know, go on watch it i don't know why it's only 12 episodes the mon the mon was done has yeah. been four years yeah it was a good episode i forgot we were talking about that it was fine it was a lot of like telling me about game mechanics and which shit. you were like your funniest thing was like he immediately figured out how to use like the ruler's hand and you're like this guy who didn't understand how mail works <laughs> yeah, like like, like, like 12 like 12 episodes ago which is yeah. like oh rune oh cool telekinesis yeah i know he's like a necromancer class is usually in the sidelines yeah, and like, I, didn't any, I didn't even put any points into intellect i was like you couldn't yeah. fucking find the the <laughs> mail button yeah no shit you didn't have any points in intellect yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> maybe we actually throw a couple in there to be safe yeah. i like the idea of him just being like like just like trying to shove a circle into a square hole and then he just like throws five into that's intellect what, and he's like, I got it. Never that's mind. what I'm saying for a guy. I had the exact same thought for a guy who like doesn't have any points in intellect too smart. Yeah. Like I want him to be like struggling to figure out a puzzle and he's like, all right, hold on. And he kills a few people. He levels up two points in an intellect yeah. and he's like, got it. Got it. Yeah. He's yeah. like two plus two. Oh, just like decision yep. paralysis. Yeah. Tink. Four. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. He's like, God, I, that is because like even now he's like, oh, I, he's like, I figure out this armor and I'm yeah. gonna respec and I'll buy this like yeah. night killer and I'm like, you got everything you need. I hate that it's just like I think it's like mana. It is. He's yeah. He's like my spells will be stronger. Yeah. Shut up, dork. Fucking loser. All right, can we talk about Hasbun Hotel? Spoilers yeah. ahead for Hasbun Hotel. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Come on, baby. It was really good. Let's go. All right. Nick here. You, if you want to go, you can go. However, um, I'm going to read the text that you sent. Okay. During what, how many episodes did you watch? Oh, I've seen them all. I've seen every single one. But I mean, uh, when you sent the first text. When I sent the first text, that was after the first episode. Let me see. Listen, I had a feeling this was going to happen, which is why I slightly censored my takes. Because <laughs> I, I, I had a feeling this was going to happen, and my takes could have been a lot spicier. I was having some very out loud thoughts while watching the first episode. Um, Nick goes, oh, you watched Roadhouse. Oh, Roadhouse was fucking <laughs> awesome. We'll talk about Roadhouse Roadhouse a too. was <laughs> awesome. Um, Nick goes, Conor McGregor is a really bad actor, but in a fun way. Yes. And then goes, also, Danny, I'm going to say it. This show is like 13 year olds who just learned they can swear outside of the house. I, I stand by that <laughs> yeah. take. Like it is literally just like it's Disney adults being like, we can go to Disney whenever. Like it's yeah. like, it's literally just them being like, oh, with the F word. I can't say that. And then they get yeah. at, like, they go to their older friend's house and they're like, fuck it. Fuck, fuck. Fuck. Yeah. yeah, that that was my initial reaction to episode one, too, because she gets to Adam and he's like, what's up, bitch tits? Yeah. And I'm like, why do even the angels talk like this? Yeah. Like everyone talks like, but then they like, you know, they have more varied personalities and characters. Well, no, what, it, what happens is the dialogue stays exactly the same, but then you actually start to like the characters and you're like, all right, fine. I can like this is mm. this is fine. Uh, and yeah. then like and then with time, they build out like the characters being like, oh, this is like why they're like this. Yeah. Like, or to my my notes were um, my first note was why does Alistair's voice sound like that? And then I realized he was the, the radio. Did you watch the pilot on YouTube? No. Fuck! I should have warned you to do that. Why? That like shows it doesn't just throw you into she has a hotel. Like it shows gotcha. you her making it. That That's my bad. Everybody. That's anyway, I'll, I'll watch on. it. I'll watch it uh, tomorrow yeah. or something. Um, my first note though was Angel is cringe. Because uh, like in episode one, yeah. he's just like this little twink, just like rubbing his bussy on everybody. Yeah. And like every single thing he says is so sexual. And I'm yeah. like, it was at that moment where I was like, this is theater kids 
realizing they can write things. Yeah. This is like every theater kid who was like got bullied in high school, wanted to make something edgy and cool. And they're like, what's edgy and cool? And they were like, sex, drugs, and swears. Yeah. And I was like, it's all wrapped into one fucking person. Next note after that is that Keith fucking David, uh, <laughs> because it was Keith yeah. fucking David. Uh, and he is, what's his name? Hawk. Husk. Husk. Yeah. Uh, just a, such an iconic voice. Yeah. Such an iconic voice. Yeah, I real. love him so much. I don't know why I know Keith David. He's in everything. He's in everything. He's in Rick and Morty. He's That's the president. That's what it is. He's Barack Obama and yeah. Rick and Morty. He's great as the president. Yes. He. I also had a similar note because in the pilot, everyone's voice is different. Mm -hmm. And in the pilot, he's just like some guy, like some oh. voice actor. And then episode one comes out and I was also like, is that fucking Keith, Keith David? David? Yeah. What? It's just like such yeah. an iconic voice. Yeah. Uh, after that was, it's a fucking musical. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to, I'm going to come out and say it. Uh, wow. Wow. Yeah. The music? Yeah. There's uh, there's one or two songs that are meh. Mm -hmm. Everything else, bang. Yeah. Like, it's like two, three songs an episode, right? Yeah. Like, at least two songs an episode. And every single one, I'm okay, my only gripe was with the, the weapon dealer lady. Yeah, uh, Carmilla. Carmilla. Yeah. Her songs. Even the one where she's like, so -so. and who's to say what it is, where it's like, she it like she's turns like into an evanescent song, yeah. Wait, I just, and she's I like, yeah, like, I'll keep you safe. That was that was her better of her two songs, but yeah. the other one was like, I, I felt like we were doing a we were doing like a whole. Um, I was like, she was like very clearly like supposed to be like Colombian, yeah. like South American, and I was like, I felt like we we kind of leaned into that, but not enough. Yeah, because like it was so Disney. You want some like. Sort of. What are these called? I wanted some uh, maracas. No. no, you're talking about the, the clams. The, the clams. Hand clams. Yeah. Hand clams. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wanted like Encanto. Castanets. Sure. Yeah. I wanted like Encanto level. Like let's get fucking. Let's get into it. But like I don't know. Her hers like kind of was a like like I said they were all f good. They were yeah. all great even. But like hers were my least favorite songs. Everything else. Yeah. Was so fucking good. Yeah. It was so good. And Dorothy was watching, she would pop in occasionally and watch it with me. She was like, it was wild because it seemed like the kind of, I was embarrassed to watch it in front of her. <laughs> I think the reason that I was so critical for episode one is because Dorothy was watching episode one with me and I was that's like, hard. Yeah, that's tough. I was like, I don't want you to, this is high level. Yeah. Like, this is high level, you're like adult. <laughs> like, this is not like, I'm not saying like, oh, Dorothy's not smart enough. I'm saying like, you have to be so broken by anime and adult animation to yeah. get into Hasbun Hotel and enjoy it in any capacity. Yeah. Like it's not full metal alchemist. It's not link click. Like that's what like I watch yeah. with her. And I'm like, this is like fun story about humans. I'm like, these are devils and the the six armed twink is gonna try and fuck the bat. Like Yeah, my dad called me and was like, Oh, I see your YouTube's blowing up. These uh had have haven't been hotels. hotels yeah. And I'm like He's like, yeah, I was thinking about giving it a shot. And I'm like, don't think about that. No, actually, actually erase that thought yeah, from your mind. Absolutely not. You don't watch, watch my buddy daddy's reactions before you watch this. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, I, I don't think you're impressed with me as is. Mm -hmm. Let's maybe, uh, let's maybe, let's maybe yeah. keep that small semblance of respect. I, I'd you rather have for me. you watch me be gay for Yuri on ice than watch yeah, me like, react straightly to has been. Like, yeah, it's literally, is it like, it's, I'm assuming it's all the swears and everything that you're reacting to. Yeah. Like you're not like bleeping anything. So it's no. just like, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck <laughs> angels. Like, I, I'm getting waterboarded while blowing eight dudes. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh God, babe. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> earmuffs, please. Uh, but holy shit. Yeah. I said, Adam's song is so good. Yeah. Adam's song fucks. That is the turning point. Cause yes. it's so sick. Yeah. He just like rips out a guitar and I'm like, yeah. oh, I didn't know this was a musical. Yeah, here. the fucking hell is forever and it's meant to suck a lot. Oh, I forgot you did your ranked and explained video for all the all I've the also songs. just been listening to all of them Have since. you? Can you... Like, I don't expect you to, like, remember all of if them. You... Give me, like, a top five. Fuck. Okay. Um, if I what? I just, like, I wish we had, like, a photo and, like, a six-second clip of all the songs. We, I guess we have my video. Um, what that is has the one, all the photos. What's the one where, uh, I think it's Charlie and Vaggy are singing, and they're like, oh, I love you. It's I think it's during, like, the Trust Fall episode or something. Uh, and they're like, everything is for you or something like that. That wow. one's really good. Wow. Uh, Your taste in music and mine are so different. I loved I, I hate all of Charlie's songs. Really? Yeah, but I love that Carmilla's uh, Carmine song that turns into an Evanescence one like halfway through. I just didn't like, I, I, I think it was her voice. I think it was her voice that upset uh, me. I liked the Adam one a lot. I 
have almost jerked off to her voice. Yeah. You're out of your mind. I thought Carmilla Carbella. Camilla, Carmilla Carmine? Ca- to Camilla Cabello? Regular name? Well, Camilla Cabello is a fucking uh, female singer. Oh, yeah. I see. I have it. Well, I was like, I did a bit in my videos where I'm like, oh, this is the sexiest voice ever. And everyone's like, Dane's about to bust to her voice. Mm. And I was like, doing my business. And I was like, I wonder if I could just do a person's <laughs> voice. Like, just do a person not saying something sexy. We're like, we can open two windows, right? We can like, yeah, we can yeah. do, like I can do like two two audio sources. You know what's funny? I then was like, oh, I should have tried that. What? Like did play, dub it over? Porn. Yeah, did porn with her. Muted voice. porn yeah. and then play the song over it. I feel like once I'm editing my own porn, we've made a mistake somewhere. <laughs> like, somewhere along the line, yeah. Then it's like you yeah. got like two monitors going. It's a whole thing. I was like, it's funny because the thing that stopped me wasn't like a lack of trying. But I was like, if I waste a jerk off session on this and <clears> not porn, I'm going to hate myself. Really? Yeah. You're thinking I'm like, what are we like going to the bank? Like how, we have a limited amount of jerk off sessions. I'm a busy guy I, oh, oh, with a girlfriend. I, it's fair. They really do get in the way. They get. They, they do get in the way of jerking it. They really do. And it's like, oh, you're here. And it's going to be weird if you're here. Because, like, you know, like, we do that thing occasionally. Yeah. You know, it's a whole thing. Yeah, and it's like, why aren't I enough? And it's like. Listen, I just know. I have, I've known I have Jim. to take a really long shower. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm pooping. <laughs> the, the shit. <laughs> Don't come in here. She's like, just like, hey, Nick, do you need a. I'm pooping! Uh, I'm pooping! <laughs> She's like, I, just, I was wondering if you wanted breakfast. Oh, good. You got you got a couple hours. You got, yeah, you got the rest of the day and a half a Monday for, you know, know. for freedom. I'm hyped about Boys Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Hell is Forever. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Is that number one? Dude, I, I need. It, I here. think next week. I'm pulling up Spotify just so I can. I'll know what you're talking about. I just don't know the names. Like, is there like a has been hotel like artist like page? Oh yeah, it's just the whole soundtrack. Just has been hotel. So you're talking about um, more than anything. More than anything. Yeah. Yes. That high school musical bullshit. That was great. Okay. Um, Welcome to Heaven was also good. Really? Um, that one sound like it was sung by Chip Skylark. I kind of liked it. <laughs> yeah. I like, okay. Oh, and I'm going to ask, so ask you a very important question okay. after we're done talking about the music here. Mm. I don't remember all of these well enough to like, I genuinely, I think we should have Stank make like a compilation listening, listening list for us next week. And we like, like actively rank them sure. because this is a full on conversation I want to have, because if you're going to watch has been hotel for one fucking reason, it's that there's how many songs is there? There is, 16 songs, uh, yeah. 14 of them are certifiable bangers. Yeah, agreed. Like They're really good. Like I, I actually might just add this entire album on to here because one, everything was fantastic. Two, Dorothy brought up a fantastic point because she sits down and she's like, Charlie sounds familiar. And I'm like, oh, that's Erica... Say it into the Erica, mic. <laughs> Erica Henningsen. And okay. we looked up like everything she's been in, didn't know a singular thing. And we were like, oh, she just sounds like Anna... From Frozen, yeah, like to a T, and then we're like, oh, all of the songs in Has Been Hotel are Frozen songs with swears. I suppose I'm there's not a lot kidding. Of like rock I'm not kidding. Ones. If you if you put the Has Been Hotel <laughs> original soundtrack up against Frozen's, yes, the words are different. Yes, the songs are different, but the vibe is exactly the same between the two of them. I don't know. Uh, no, I like this is this <laughs> yeah. is certifiable. Like like ever there's there's the duets. It's like the love is an open door. Uh-huh. And like that is the like that is the whatever it takes. Or no, that's the um uh that's, that's more the than more, anything. That's the more than anything. And then there's like all these like those are the occasional like rock coded song and all of this. There's it no is, rock it ones is, in Frozen though. There's in Frozen 2. <laughs> also, um Give me a rock song in Frozen 2. <sighs> There's like one. Just with, sing it a like little. One was Sven. I don't know the entire. It's been a while since I watched Frozen. Just do a little thing. I can't. Because I'm there's a there. Oh, okay, has been hotel. I, there's so many. I I disagree so strongly mm. that I'm almost about to get into you cuck energy. Where I'm like, Listen, what about I, the one that's like Frozen Let's to me? Begin. I'm gonna make you wish that you'd stayed gone. Oh, was that uh, was, was that was, Alistair and Vox? Yes, remember that, Vox? Vox was sick. Yeah, that was a good one. That one's Alistair great. and him's like his little like rap battle. Anything Alistair was involved in was really cool. That's I don't cool. think he. I think he had probably the uh, Keith David, surprisingly good singer. I'm assuming everybody. Huh. I'm assuming everybody was using like 
auto tune or whatever the fuck. But yeah, like probably Keith David and Angel song, yeah. uh, "Loser Like Me" yeah. was great. That is probably my favorite one. "Loser Like Me" is yeah. good. I could listen to Keith David just fucking massage my brain into a smooth stone yeah. with his like, "You're a loser, baby." baby. It's so good. That is really good. That's actually probably my favorite song as well. How did you feel? You keep going through your notes, or okay. I could start asking you about random stuff. Um, I do want to get all your questions. Uh, episode two made me like Angel, addict recovering from abusive relationship. By the end of it, I was a massive Angel fan. Wow. By the end of the show or episode two? End of show. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was a massive Angel fan. Yeah. I think the, I was going to ask about episode four, but I guess we'll get to that. The exploration of Angel's relationship with what's his name? Val or Va something? Victor. V Victoria. Maybe Val. I think it's Val. Is it Val? Yeah, yeah, it's Val. Um, the explanation of Angel's relationship with that. And I thought, okay, them exploring Angel's abusive relationship through the median of Charlie trying to white knight into his relationship with Val and fucking it up worse yeah. was awesome. Yeah. I thought that was really cool because usually an explorer, like an ex exploration into like abuse in media of any sort is like, everyone's like, oh, you're being abused. And then like, uh, uh, like some fucking white knight kicks in the door and he's like, fuck you. And then the person's <laughs> like, you're right. And then they just march out. Yeah. Never works like yeah. that. It's so, it's like so much more emotionally entangled angel being there, but then also still being at the beck and call through the medium of a literal chain around his neck to Val was really cool. And like angel standing up to Val in the heaven test uh, and being like, oh, look, he stuck it to the man. Yeah. He was like, he was there for his friends, all these things. And like them being like, oh, Angel could go to heaven. And that being like a conversation between the two, like Angel, leader, whatever yeah. they were called. Um, I forget what they were called. Sarah. Sarah and, <laughs> yeah, but they were they were like, we're, yeah, they're, we're like, whatever. I don't know, just this year's yeah, yeah. of fucking heaven or some shit. Uh, and so that explanation of Angel's character from like me being like, I hate this person to being like, oh, yeah, like Husk's entire episode where he's like, this is a front you're putting on to like protect yourself. Like you're like trying to have some semblance of control over your life through the medium of over sexualizing yourself. Yeah. And like the one thing you have control over is your sexuality. Right. You have nothing else. And so Husk being like, I see through you and also realizing that Husk is somehow tied to Alistair was all really cool. And then Loser Like Me was great. But yeah, so Angel came out of it like smelling like roses for me. I loved him. Wow, what a beautiful analysis. My favorite character was Serpentius. Good call! I love Serpentius. Dude, the bit, it. this show has one of the funniest running gags I've ever seen where he's like, He's like, uh, what's her? He's like, Jerry, mm. I'd like to buy you a drink. And she's like, why? And he's like, because I'm buying, buying a drink, drink for, for everybody. Yes. And then it ending with him like, I'm having sex with everyone. <laughs> and then he just gets dragged into a room <laughs> by two huge dudes. So funny. That was so good. He, so let's see my first notes. Um, uh, Charlie White Knighting Souls. They killed Serpentius. Yeah. That, that was. That's Absolutely great. infuriating for me <laughs> yeah. because it was like this whole thing. He kisses Cherry yeah. and then he's, I'm, I guess, spoilers. Stank, stank, replay that. Spoilers yeah. ahead for Hasbun Hotel. <laughs> um, so like them, like like him, like kissing Cherry Bomb and then being like, he's like, I'll see you later. He's like, I love you or some yeah. shit. Getting his like doom machine with all his eggs. I loved his fucking eggs. <laughs> yeah, I, the egg were, boys. They were so like, so well written to just be like <laughs> fucking idiot. Like, yeah. like henchmen was so great. So him, them just be like, what are we doing today, boss? And like, <laughs> him, them finding out that um, the Car Carmine, Carmilla, Carmilla Carmine uh, killed one of the like executioners and them like them cuddling up with Sir Pengis and being like, and one of them killed an angel. And he's like, good. good. Yeah. And they're like, they're like, we told Sir Pengis weeks ago. He's like, they tell me fucking insane <laughs> shit yeah. all the time. And then one of them's like, I don't even remember what he said. He was like, yeah, he's like, the banks are like a scam or whatever. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. like, jeez. <laughs> I love that. I, I love that. I fucking so. love Serpentius. Yeah, I love the like, they say insane <laughs> shit all the time. Like, <laughs> and he's like, and maybe tomorrow you meet a Martian or something. Yeah. Serpentius' relationship with the fucking Egg Boys was great. I know. I was devastated when he died. Yeah. Um, but he's in heaven, which is good. So I'm assuming they're going to do a season two. Yeah. It's so big. Yeah. It like was doing gangbusters. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. I don't know. You, you fucking, you hit the nail on the head with the. Uh, angel thing. Because the thing is, I don't know if you saw any of the controversy, mm. but people think that Angel's character and the show like glorifies abusive relationships. And I think... In what capacity? I think if you 
don't think about it for more than three seconds, you can maybe come to that conclusion. I don't I don't even know how one would come to that conclusion. It's so clearly like villainizing. Like he's like terrified of Val. Val it's, hits him. And then Val yeah. has like trains run on him. Yeah. I guess like one could be like, oh, he's famous because of his it's, relationship. It's the idea. People think that because Angel keeps going back to Val and like that he'll be like, oh yeah, I'm like a dick sucking hoe and that's cool. They think that that's being like, oh, it's like cool and fun and silly that he's in an abusive relationship, but it's really just like that he has been manipulated and like fucking his brain chemistry has been overridden by like a mixture of like positive reinforcement from Val and actual drugs. Yeah. And so like, like you said, I love that it, that arc doesn't really end mm -hmm. like he still is in the relationship because so many times in shows it's like fuck you and it's like i'm glad i got out of that yeah that's like, just wow, not how it works i did it i yeah. beat a mental and physical abuse like yeah. entire thing and it's like if anything if quiet on set has shown anything yeah i just got the drake bells episode <laughs> like it's like one that being tied into work is yeah. an entire another layer. Yeah. And like that being tied into fame yeah. is an entire, and then the fucking power dynamic that's present because Val's the director and Angel is the actor. Like all of these kinds of things is like, if you can't understand that that's not good and yeah. Angel doesn't enjoy it, that like, then like every time Angel gets a call from Val, he's fucking terrified. Yeah. Like, and that's like the entire thing is like, he doesn't want to be there, but like when he stands up to Val, when he's not outside of it, it's Angel making an actual step forward in like right. the, like the arc of their like relationship with Val and their abusive relationship. That's not coming through the medium of a white knight in Charlie. Yeah. Well, you know what the, like the ironic and tough thing too, about like depicting an abusive relationship is that to an extent, you do have to glorify it a little yeah. because you need to show that there's like, a reason that somebody would want to stay in it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like no one would ever, no one would meet someone at a bar and they'd like get a crisp slap yeah, and be like, like, Hey legs, why don't you walk it into the back of my trunk? And they'd be like, okay. Okay. Like, and that's like, honey, I'm home. And it's just like, him just like opens the door. <laughs> just fucking right hook. Yeah. It just does like a three, four combo. <laughs> yeah, it's like, just like, all right, you want dinner? Silly boy. Yeah. It's like, obviously you need to show that there are positives to this relationship. At least so far as the abused is like observing. Yeah, yeah. There needs to be like a carrot on a stick yeah. that keeps the abused like manipulated into staying. And I think that's where like people who aren't critically thinking are like, why is Val charismatic? Why'd you make him a good guy? And it's yeah. like, he has to be charismatic. Otherwise, no one would fucking work for him. Yeah, otherwise he's a corny villain who doesn't represent anybody in yeah. real world. Like, that's the thing. Exactly. Is like he's supposed to be a, like, he's supposed to be a person that could exist on Earth. Yeah, I think that's what, like, speak, because you brought up Quiet on set. Mm -hmm. I think something smart that that doc does, as well as, like, I thought it was weird when they played John Cena's walk-up music for Drake Bell, but besides that, I thought it was I it, thought it was good. It's definitely a flawed documentary. <laughs> it's definitely like a weird, like, I don't there's parts of it like in the making of the documentary that I'm like, these decisions are weird. Yeah, it was like I love yeah. I love the uh, like an alternate universe where they're like, <laughs> what it was it was one of the child actors from yeah. from one of our shows. And you just hear glass break and it's like, <laughs> like Drake Bell in the Stone Austin 316 <laughs> shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's yeah, it like we'll talk about that because that is funny. But like one of the things it does well is it does take some time to be like Dan Schneider what he wasn't abusing people yeah. was electric. Like people loved being around. That him. was my thing with the Drake Bell reveal. He's like, the only person I had was Dan Snyder. Yeah. And I was like, we just spent two episodes being like, fuck yeah. this guy in, in particular. And I'm like, oh, the dichotomy of the character is interesting. And like, you're right. Like it has to be like, there was a reason Dan Schneider was working. Yeah. And it's because he was good at his job and he was charismatic to people. He wasn't like forcing Fucking to bend over. over a table and like, yeah. like tell a comedic joke while pretending they're being sodomized. Yeah, that was crazy. That was <laughs> wild. He, well, so I guess we're talking about this now, but like, I have so much, I have like 20 more minutes on has been hotel, but we can do this for a brief aside. Okay. Very brief aside yeah. because there is a lot like, but like, yeah, there are moments, too, where, like, those women who he, like, very much abused on set, like, they would be like, yeah, you know, there were days where, like, he'd be telling jokes, we're having fun, and I'd be like, maybe I was overreacting, mm -hmm. and it's like, that's 
a good abuse. abuser. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that is a skilled abuser. Some, when like, oh, somebody can abuse you and then yeah. like three days later you can be like, oh yeah, yeah. Dan, great guy. Like, yeah. oh yeah, no, that's like funny enough to fuck with you. Yeah, but no, the only two things I want to talk about with Quiet on Set very briefly is one, I love that like, did you see the follow-up like interview Dan Schneider did with Tebow no, from iCarly? So I'm, I'm it's four not, it's episodes like on, in, I think. It's like on YouTube. Oh, gotcha. He So Dan Schneider made like, a response mm -hmm. to the documentary. Love that. With like, do you remember, did you watch iCarly? Yes. Remember the guy with the bagels on the stick? Oh yeah. Tebow. It's like, Tebow is conducting the interview for some reason. And he's like, the interview starts after this like, heartbreaking, like everyone's like, feels terrible for Drake Bell. And they're yeah. like, you know, there's this like, looming like, just sorrow towards Nickelodeon after this doc came out. This interview with Dan Schneider comes out. Tebow's there and goes, what's good, y'all? It's Boogie, otherwise known as Tebow from iCarly. I'm here with Dan Schneider. And it's like, what? what's happening right Hey, guys, now? make sure, guys, I'm here with our Smash number Night. one, number one golden boy Nickelodeon producer, yeah. Dan Schneider, ladies and gentlemen. Dan, let me just say, yeah. looking trim. Did you uh, <laughs> have a second to see this? What was it? What was it called? Yeah. Set on Quiet. Did you see Set yeah. on Quiet? What's it called? Shush. Shush. <laughs> hey, uh, kid, shut your mouth yeah. before I fill it. Yeah, but it like he uh, fucking Dan Schneider was like in defense of the jokes, like the crazy, crazy Ariana Grande shit. He's like, I'm all the jokes you're that referring being to. Episode one, I was like, I don't remember this happening, and I was like, I don't feel right watching it's this. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. And he's like, him being fucking like, um, yeah, Dan Schneider's like, all those jokes you were referring to were put in the show. Because they're funny. Mm -hmm. And it's like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, this is not the defense Kids you think it is. love cum shots. Yeah. yeah, that shit rips. Yeah. Like, it's, it's fucking funny stuff. But I even, like, as a kid, I remember watching some of the stuff and being like, what what it what's it what is what this? what's the there? joke yeah what's the joke she got gooped I, every time, <laughs> like, they, why is every that time funny? they busted out the feet I was like yeah, yeah. I, uh, even as a kid I was like I don't yeah I was not like, a, this I'm, not a, funny. I'm not a foot guy I don't yeah. know I was like, like, the, the humor wasn't conveyed to me yeah I but and then the other thing you briefly talked about the Drake Bell thing which is like truly devastating we talked a little before the pod about how. How much of a fucking man his dad is. Oh, dude, his, his dad's I would, the man. I would literally split a child in half with a claymore to have him be my father. Yeah. That that he was like, I fucking smelt this dude out. And it was like, yeah. and like it was crazy because he gets his teeth into his family. And he yeah. like, like weaponizes his mom against his dad. And his dad's like, I just like, but like he's like telling his mom's like, just don't let this motherfucker yeah. get close to him yeah. ever. And his mom's like, oh. Orange County is like so, so far <laughs> from Paramount Pictures. So yeah. Drake, how about you sleep over this 40 year old's house? I know there's a brutal, devastating moment with his dad in the last episode. Oh. That you'll have to text me when you get to. Okay. But like, yeah, his dad's the absolute man. It's tough. There was a moment where he's like, I went to the studio. I told him this guy's all over my son. And they're like, well, you know, he's gay. Maybe yeah. you're just homophobic. And I was like, Oh, well, all right. All right, well, yeah, like, I, am, well I am that. I don't know. Be, be like, less yeah. tolerant, yeah. I guess. Like, <laughs> like, he's, but, like, so down for anything. Yeah. He's just, like, and then he was, like, his son was, like, I want to be emancipated. Yeah. I don't want to be with you anymore. And he's, like, like, oh, he, like yeah. it, like, broke him, but he was, like, that's yeah. what Drake wants. Brutal. And I was, like, holy shit. Yeah. I would go to war for this guy. I know, but, no, the, the thing you mentioned and the thing the doc does, like, kind of fucking grossly is that when they introduce Drake Bell, it's like, you know, someone on set was molested. And it's the director, the director yeah. of all that. Like one of the biggest yeah. Nickelodeon shows of all time is like, yeah, like yeah. they're like live revealing yeah. it to him. Yeah. They're, yeah. They're doing like a reaction of yeah. everybody. And it's like the music is building up and it's like, not, not our set. Right. Yeah. Was it one of the actors? And it's like, no, no. And it's like, everyone's like, who, who is it? Is that bad to ask? And then from the shadows, Drake Bell emerges and it's like this fucking like Marvel cameo. Yeah. And he like sits down and he's like, yeah, it's me. And it's I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Yeah, like, that was wild. There I was know. It. I mean, it was like, is it good television technically? Yeah. Yes. Is it a kind of insensitive way to handle <laughs> yeah. somebody who went through like just seeing from the yeah. court notes, horrific yeah. abuse. I know when they... Like, yeah, Drake, yeah, when they hit you with the court documents, yeah. it's crazy. When they hit you with the fucking other people's manifestos. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we don't have to talk about it anymore. Yes. But just that one thing was like, 
I'm like, this is gross. It's yeah. good TV, but that's gross. It was eerily reminiscent of what was going on at Hasbin Hotel. It's why it's so like, yeah. so like what's going on is Hasbin Hotel. It just came out, right? Uh, like a month ago. Okay. So, so yes. Like, all right. No, so yeah. sort of like, but like, it's still like very similar to what's going on, like dragging that line between the two of them. Yeah. Anyways, I have some very important questions, but yeah. first I want to bring up the fact that Vaggy, right? Yeah. Vaggy's, um, uh, she's voiced by the woman from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I think her yeah, name is- Yeah, yeah. Rosa? A Rosa Ramirez. Yeah, something, yeah, Agent Ramirez, Agent I think. Ramirez, I thought her yeah. name has like a rose in it. Yeah, yeah, something. yeah, something like that. Um, I haven't watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine in like 12 years. Anyways. I haven't watched it. Ever? Ever. Really? Yeah. That's fine. I just like her voice. I loved her as Mirabelle in well, Encanto. So here's my thing. Yeah. Is like in like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, she's got this, she's like, oh, you know, Adrian Ramirez. She's got like a super deep voice, right? But in <laughs> real life. I didn't know what this, for audio only listeners, I Nick was doing what I thought were a, a couple of big bazongas. So she just got these home. <laughs> no, no, no. So she's got like a super deep yeah. voice. Uh, in the show, but in real life, she's got a much like softer voice, like uh. a very like girly, very soft, right. like like a like a very pretty voice. And in this, she's like in a mix of the two. Like she's not like full Agent Ramirez, but she's also not full because she's like a fallen executioner who's yeah. like in hell and is like you know with Charlie and all of this. Yeah. And so her singing. She's like gorgeous singing voice, but like so Disney princess. And I was like, cause like Vaggie doesn't have that many songs. And so I was like the, a couple of times when I heard her singing, I was like, this cannot be the same woman yeah. from Brooklyn nine, nine. Like it is a, it is two different worlds entirely, but she did a very good job. But what I found funny is that her name, cause she was probably the biggest star on the show. I'd say. So in the credits every single time, even though Vaggie is not the main character of the show, her name first. Really? I thought that was very interesting. Odd. I guess she's the biggest name. Yeah. Hit her and Alex Brightman, who plays Serpentius and Adam. He plays Beetlejuice on Broadway. Oh. And he's like a big get. And Keith David, I guess. Yeah. But yeah. But like every single time, I, I figured I figured it would be Charlie's voice actor, yeah. a voice actress. And I was like, nope. Every single time it was her name. Weird. Stephanie Be Beatrice? Be it's Stephanie something. Genuinely, you could say any two random Ste names. And I just have to say yes, because Be I don't know. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yeah. Actually stop, stop, stop. Full <laughs> I think we have one more. Oh. Uh, so I now my biggest question to you. Yeah. If you could smush one character from Hasbin Hotel, who would it be? Uh, Camilla Carmine, for sure. Really? Love her in voice. Well, I love, I like Cherry Bomb. They made Cherry Bomb real Australian. They made her super Australian. I also don't like Cyclopses at all, ever. That's a thing for you? Yeah. Ever since Leela from See, okay, Futurama. That was, that was an explorative moment for me as well, but I went the other way. It's not that I'm like, oh, you give me that roll of the one big me. Yeah, let me eye. lick your pupil. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like Jin Woo. I'm like, that's a big old stabable <laughs> eye. Oh, uh, no, good I just, comedy. Like, I, don't, I don't mind it. I don't I mean, like it at all. It's too much. It is a lot. Yeah. I think the X helps. Something about the X helps. If I can be real, you know, the, you know, the, you know, the, the angel who was good. There was like the Daddy. angel. There was the angel who was like super in charge. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then there yeah, was the angel yeah. who was good. Yeah. That's the one. You're right. When you're right, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one. She, they've got a great aesthetic. The like oh, yeah. gray brown skin uh -huh. with like white freckles and white yep. hair. You're correct. I, I, as I like to be sometimes. Yeah. But as I was watching it, oh, I was. Sorry. Also the other one, uh, Adam's like executioner. Uh -huh. The one who does the fucking like. She rips her own arm off. Yeah. Yeah. She could get it. When she takes the helmet off. Also the executioners just period. Just hot. Just hot. Just, just a bunch just, of broads. Just a bunch of broad <laughs> broads with horns and weapons. Yeah, yeah I'll go yeah. there. Um, but I would say if I had to go the other way, I was watching it and I was like, because I, I, I'd i only seen the character designs and from a distance, I was like, oh, it kind of looks like furry shit. But then as you watch it, you're like, oh, it's just like, they just have like weird, it's like weird, like weirdly built. They're in hell, right? So uh -huh. they're kind of demons. So like Charlie has like, She's like super pale. And I was watching it. And I was like, I saw Charlie's character and I was like, I loved Charlie's character. Like she's like, you know, like meant to be the princess, right? So she is the princess, but she's the princess of hell, which I think is why it's so frozen coded because it is technically right. a princess story. And I was watching it and I was like, I guess I understand why the guy paid 50 grand. You know, I was like, I literally, I was having, having, having a video of yourself insert OC getting tied down. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. You know, <laughs> like, I was like, I would hit. And I was like, I guess if you have the money, spend it. Yeah, I agree. I don't know if I would spend 50 grand. It's definitely an exorbitant amount of money. Oh, it's if it too was, much. If it was like 200 bucks, and like. How much do you think animation costs? It's a favorite. Yeah, you, yeah oh, of course. Yeah, you're like, you're, this I, is, I haven't this seen is such it. a, well, how, much does, how much does a bundle of bananas cost? <laughs> 
20 bucks? Does it look good? I haven't seen you it. Haven't I didn't seen watch it? it. No. Oh my God. We're going to watch it after this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The song, the song that goes with it is a fucking bang. Really? Oh, it's so good. Oh, damn. Oh, it's so good. Um, it, but if it was like not $50,000, mm-hmm. I don't think people would have memed on him as hard. Probably not. If it was like it a also grand. apparently bankrupted him. <laughs> that was kind of the, that was the big thing. That's sick. The big thing was like That's he didn't awesome. have money to pay any of his like like the people that worked for him. So like everyone was like, but you just spent yeah. 50 grand. It's like literally like somebody being like, oh, I don't know why he can't afford to live right now. And it's like, oh, I don't know. Probably your boosted truck. Yeah. Probably your boosted <laughs> Duramax dipshit. Yeah. All of your teeth are made of platinum. Why'd yeah, you like, do what that? Are we, uh, what are we doing here? So yeah, yeah like he was like, uh, That's I don't so know. Funny. Help me fix my finances here. Yeah. No, they are all very hot characters mm-hmm. for sure a uh, hell of a boss is her other show the gotcha. like creator of this and it's like in a connected world um but it's on youtube only it's a youtube show mm-hmm. the character is also in- incredibly there hot. was fully a furry though yeah one of the one of the, the guardians of hell yeah. is just a giant wolf woman just a hundred percent like a five nights at freddy's looking character oh yeah yeah oh god yeah roxy <laughs> respectfully i would is roxy let me see what this is all about. Roxy is she Roxy is new to the franchise. She was in Security Breach. Watch it. Let's see. Ro- and they made they made her unnecessarily hot. They also made Chica. Everybody in Security Breach was too hot. Even Freddy was hot. Chica? Yeah, yeah, she's just Roxy. Yeah. This is literally who it is. Oh, from Hasbin Hotel? Uh yeah. Oh. No, I mean like it looks oh, just yeah, like her yeah. in Hasbin Hotel. You're wearing a crop top, and I, I see, I see midriff. I go for it. You no, know? I agree. I'm also a huge fan of mid. Um, yeah, Chica's like grossly. Chica, they made, they made her busty. Yeah, they made Chica busty. I remember I was at when I was at um, Colossal Con. <clears throat> two girls came up to me and were like, they were big fans. They're like, I bet you has been my hotel, and I was like, whoa. I was like, I don't get that yet. <laughs> How do you know this? <laughs> but um, they were like, they were dressed like Chica and Roxy. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh, dope. Are you guys like rock stars or whatever? And they're like, oh, no, we're like Five Nights at Freddy's characters. And I'm like, no, you aren't. What are you talking <laughs> Where's about? Where's your fucking suit? I, that's how horrible it is to meet me. You'll tell me what you're dressed as. And I'll go, no, you aren't. <laughs> oh, I saw uh, three better of you over there. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked it up and I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Why am I hard? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, no, if I had to go that male wise, yeah. please smash him. I guess Lucifer. That's a, it's not a lot of like that's real not hot my, That's dudes. not where my brain would have gone. That's a good pick. Angel sure. does, no. I, Angel does like my favorite character, but like they're not attractive to me. I don't know, six arms. That's good. That's good. Six arms is good for stuff. Probably Husk. Yeah, Just it's you're, Keith right, David. you're right. You're right. It's no, if it's not Keith David, you know, nothing doing it for me. But I like I, that's, f- that's a voice you want wooing you to sleep at night. I'm not in a fur. I don't mind. It's God, weird. Fuck, he is a bat. You're right. Yeah. Or is he a cat? It's he a, has wings. Yeah. At one point, like, Angel's like, go see the kitty. And I'm like, what are you? Yeah. <laughs> why do you have why do you have wings? <laughs> um, I love. Serpentious. That's the right answer. I was thinking that. Serpentious, Serpentious. is good. I love uh, the fucking girl. What's her name? She comes in during Lucifer and Alistair oh, song. Moxie or something. Yeah, Mi- Moxie. Minxie or something like yeah, that. Yeah, she comes in. She's like, boys, yeah. come spend the night on the town. Yeah. Like, she's like flapper dress in her way. She was great. I love her. She she's was fantastic. Great. God, yeah. there was, it was it was so good. I, I was like, I was upset by the end of it. Like, it was like, I was like breakfast, workout. Anytime I had a free moment, I was like, I want to watch Husband Hotel yeah. right now. And I was like, God damn. Damn it, I hate when he's right. Yeah. Um, but it's but the thing about the thing about me watching a show that you give to me, right? I can't make contact on content on Hasbin Hotel. No one wants to hear what I have to say. Yeah. I have the straightest audience known to man. Yeah. Like, and so I was like, oh, like I wanted I wanted to sit down for Weeb Commander and I wanted to make a Hasbin Hotel video. And I was like, oh. No one gives a shit. That's tough. You yeah. can test the waters with TikTok. Oh, I did Ocean of, I did an Ocean of Co video. Bombed. Really? Bombs. That one's not even gay. Oh, well, no, but, it just, it, but it's yeah, not It's just punchy. not fighting. It's yeah. not punchy. I can only do punchy. What was your Oshinoko video? They don't have like, just like I was talking about how it? Oshinoko is a masterpiece. I was talking okay. about how it's like a reflection of like how Isekai genre, like the Isekai genre ruined really good like tr- like ideas. Because I was like, oh, the Isekai genre like is like a fantastic, like it's like there's so many good stories within like Isekai, but like why are we like paywalling it behind yeah. oh i'm obsessed with my mother and i just <laughs> right. came out of her pussy i feel like to be fair though to that video bombing mm-hmm. i feel like weeb commander's bag isn't like think pieces it's more like oh people, theories and 
shit. Fair. I mean, that does do better, but people like when I do like, I do character analysis. Like I get real well, psychological. Well, that's what I, I, I mean. Well, I guess that's the same. I mean, like, no, that seems like a review. You right? are kind of stumbling upon a backwards point here where I'm like, every time I've ever sat down and been like, oh, this is good like, because yeah. it never does that well. Yeah, like it's not, I wouldn't go to it. Not that like, I don't care about like your review of something, but like from the pattern of what comes out on Weeb Commander, you being like, Oh, weekly recommendation or whatever isn't something I expect. It's literally, the next video I'm, 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 really? I'm doing. I'm doing a spring 2024 recommendation video. <laughs> it's, I mean, the, uh, it's the next video I'm doing. Yeah, I just like I, I feel like the Weeb Commander bag is like the theories, like that, yeah. and the rankings. Like mm -hmm. that's what I get. Hyped you about. love a you love a good itemized list, dude. Baby. I love a fucking top ten Rasen guns. Oh, like, wait, look, there's more than ten. That's for fucking sure. You still haven't done the movie only ones, which upsets me. I have. They were in the no, Rasen you didn't. No, you didn't. I, the, did I not? Because I watched the video and you're like, I'm not going to go over the movie ones. Because they're all the same. Every movie Rasengan is just like, oh, we're using the Scoopy Rasengan. <laughs> and it's the it's because because he just saved the character Scoop, who has Scoopergy, which yeah. is Scoop energy. <laughs> right. And he's he's channeling the power of Scoop into his Scoopy Rasengan. <laughs> That's it. Every single one is that. It's a, it's like a different, it's like, this one's purple. Yeah. And then he uses it to defeat the fucking bad guy in the non-canon yeah. movie. I, the only thing I remember is the rainbow Rasen gun, that, which is, is exactly what you're describing. Yeah. Every single movie, yeah. he gets some new energy that he funnels into a different Rasen gun. Yeah. That's why you don't watch the non-canon movies. They're not that good. So you said your favorite character is Angel Dust? Yeah. I don't know who mine is. Really? Angel is up there. I love the conversations that were explored around the capacity of Angel. Am I, I'm, I'm like, I might be basic when I say Charlie. Like, I'm I, so shocked. It's I really, No, I, I lied. It's yeah, Serpentius. Yeah, you're right. That's I, good. That's a good one. I'm so shocked because I like, I felt like Charlie and Vaggie were the weakest part of the show. They definitely are, but because <laughs> that's like, they go through the least in terms of character development. Right. Like Vaggie is like revealed to be an executioner and her character development on that being like a big issue is like 10 minutes. Yeah. And like, like they go to heaven and then they're like, you have a weapon that's from angels and you have an X on your eye, which I guess means- she was excommunicado or some oh, shit. Oh, no, her eye got stabbed out. You yeah, missed yeah, that? But, yeah, but she has an X on her eye. It's like an eye patch. Yeah, yeah, but like, oh, yeah, but like she has an X on her eye, right? And so uh, your favorite character, Carmine, yeah. uh, was like, you, uh, how did, like, Vaggie's like, how'd you know I was an executioner? And she's like, you have an angel spear and an X on your eye. It's not rocket science. Oh, and I was maybe. like, what does the X on her eye maybe. mean? Because Cherry Bomb. Has a big also, X for also has, an yeah, eye. X for an eye. Wow. So I think like maybe if you become an executioner, you lose. Because their masks have an X on their eye, right? That's a solid theory. Yeah. yeah. Like their masks have an X on their eye, so maybe they take that maybe. eye or some shit. I have no idea. Anyways, then like they're like, oh, they come back and Charlie finds out from, I don't even remember how Charlie finds out, but basically she finds out that she's an executioner. Adam uh, oh, just Adam, tells Adam, her, yeah. Adam yells it. And then they're like, no. And yeah. then they're like, Charlie, the hotel's for forgiveness. Yeah. And she's like, fuck. You're right. <laughs> yeah, and so like, like, I feel like Husk, Angel, Serpentius all had like longer, more drawn out, more intense, more like grounded in reality, like more grounded in reality, like stories that they were building up. And Angel's story is definitely the most compelling, but I just love Serpentius. He's so good. He's so funny. He's really good. He's really cute and funny. I like how he has like one episode of being a villain. And then he's like, they're like, all right, you two babysit Serpentius. And he's like, wait, we're going to hang out. Yeah. I didn't know we could do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, and then he's like, and then Cherry Bomb's like, I'm going to fuck the next guy I see. <laughs> and Sir Benjamin just comes out like hustled and bustled from like getting tag teamed. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, where is she? She's yeah, walking where, away. Where's like, her line of sight? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it's great. It was a great show. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's basically all I have on it. If you haven't seen Hasbun Hotel, really go watch it. Great your teeth through the first episode. I mean, unless you're like, unless you're great big your teeth on Tumblr. until hell is forever. Yeah. Like that is. I agree the first episode, so whatever. Mm -hmm. um, you should watch the pilot. It's really, really funny. It's on mm -hmm. YouTube. Uh, but then once Hell's Forever shows up, I'm like, oh, now we're cooking. No, we're absolutely. When the first song kicks in, you're like, oh, yeah, we're here. Yeah, we're here. We're probably queer and we're in hell. Yeah. And we're trying to get out. <laughs> My, I hope with season two, they're like, they don't try to go to heaven. Like, I, would, I hope with season two, like they were like, oh, we're going to like, we're going to battle back against heaven. I was like, just remake hell. 
Yeah. Just like they're like, oh, this part of hell is pretty the nice. Reforms. They go to they go to Cannibal Town, right? And there's yeah. like the, the like the dommy mommy, you know, like yeah. uh, Lady Vita, Vinatrescu esque woman. Something. Um, you know, or Demetrescu. Yeah, are you trying to the say tall, the Resident yeah, Evil yeah, one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the tall vampire lady, and they're like, Wow, Cannibal Town looks nice. I was like, Cool, so we can make hell nice. Let's yeah. just do that. We just made a gorgeous hotel using Lucifer and Alistair's powers. Just fucking make hell nice. I know, that's my I mean it's a comedy show, so I wasn't really like digging too deep into it, but like a comedy show that explores like the depth yeah. and problems of like sexual abuse. Yeah. I, I know. Well, so that's like the thing is it's like, she's like, we got to redeem these sinners. We got to do this and that. I haven't seen a single person upset with the fact that they are in hell. Yeah. Everyone loves the lawlessness. They the all love murder. The cannibals are like, cool. Uh, infinite meat. Yeah. They're hyped. Like, yeah. so it's like, I, that's why Charlie's so weak to me. Cause I'm like, I like, I don't give a shit. Cause nobody else in hell wants to be redeemed. That's fair. Nobody's having a bad time. Yeah, everyone's cool. The only problem is that you can get killed by executioners and we just handled that issue. Yeah, like that's done. Yeah. So now no more hotel is needed. Like there's like, if you want to be a weapons dealer, you can be a weapons dealer. There's drugs, there's clubs. Yeah. You can build a hotel and be a fucking upright Christian if you want to, like yeah. fucking Charlie. It seems like heaven for bad people. Yeah. Yeah. Which is fun. Yeah. But like heaven also, I mean, heaven looks cool, but heaven was also heaven for bad people. Yeah. Because well, everybody in heaven's an asshole. Yeah. But yeah, outside of that, um, I want to talk about Mashal just super, super briefly. Talk about it super briefly, dog. Um, They straight up stole one for one. There's like Mashal's oh, second season is ending. This. Uh, they straight up stole one for one the Heroes in versus Orochimaru fight. And I... When when has when Mashal was like straight up copying Harry Potter, I was like, ha ha! And then it like started copying Naruto and I was like... <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what are you doing here? Oh, no. I was like, what are, we, what, are we, what are we cooking on here? I'm just going to give you a quick synopsis of what happens here. Give it. Um, and I guess like I'm going to be really vague, but spoilers if you're not caught up on that. Give me a synopsis, but also give me the Naruto parallel. Okay, yeah. so there is a big event. There's like a big tournament being held right now for the school. For everybody to try and become, like, one person gets to become a divine visionary. So it's like you get a, the divine visionaries, like, run. They're, like, the strongest. They're the Hashira. Yeah. Um, so, like, if you uh, compete in, like, three rounds, all that end in the last round is, like, it's, like, you have to blow up this balloon without using magic. And then you have to, um, there was another one where it's, like, you have to have a crystal. And if people destroy your yeah. crystal, you're out. That a kind bunch of, of nonsense. Yeah. yeah. And then the last one is 1v1. It's 1v1 fights. Good. The it's one the one people fucking give a shit about. Exactly. Yeah. But it's a tuning exam. So yeah, tuning yeah. exams is a test, forest of death, and then 1v1 fights. And while the 1v1 fights is the only, like, real comparison there, in the midst of the biggest and most important 1v1, Gara versus Sasuke, and this, it's, um, uh, fucking, I forget their name, um... Doesn't Scooby matter. versus Doobie. Yeah, it's, it's the main character versus yeah. um, a character who's canonically transgender, and they use they them pronoun, pronouns, which is really cool. It might be like a fuck you to J.K. Rowling and like her <laughs> yeah. like transgenderness or transphobia is what I'm looking for. There. <laughs> yeah, J.K. Yeah, Rowling, yeah, the yeah, fact she that actually, she's yeah, she trans. Just hates that part about herself. Yeah. Um, and so that gets interrupted by like essentially Voldemort of this universe kicking down the door. Who's Orochimaru? And so the headmaster has to go and battle against this lead bad guy who's Orochimaru or Voldemort, and they're in a 1v1, and the head bad guy uses essentially Edo Tensei. Where, like, you know when Orochimaru brings uh, Hashirama and Tobirama to fight against Hiruzen? You've seen this part of Naruto, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So he uses essentially Edo Tensei. He was like, I like with a piece of genetic material, I'm able to bring people back to life. And the person he brings back to life is their teacher, mm -hmm. who Hashirama was the teacher to right. Hiro, Hashirama and Tobirama were the teachers to Hiruzen, uh, but not Orochimaru. But anyways, and like he wins, he like he defeats like that reincarnation, and then he uses this technique that's supposed to use up his entire life to destroy the bad guy. But it doesn't work. Exactly how Hashirama, or exactly how Tobirama. Orochimaru versus Hiruzen went. Right. And then it's all interrupted by, like, the main character, like, kicking down the door and, like, the main the main guy having to run away. Right, right, right. So it's, like, one-to-one -one copy of exactly how, not only how the battle started, but the circumstances surrounding the battle and how the battle ended. Right. It's nuts. Weird. Yeah. What a weird, unoriginal show. Well, that's the thing. It's like, when it's not Harry Potter, it's yeah. other yeah, anime shows. Yeah, it's a different shows. thing. Yeah. yeah. It's weird. like, it's just a mash. It is a, it is a mash all yeah. of every, like, other popular thing in IP. Interesting. It's fun. I'm enjoying it, but I'm, like, not watching it being like, mm, yeah. they're really pushing the boundaries here. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm like, we're just doing other anime. I do like, you briefly, we briefly kind of brushed past the idea that, like, 
all these anime love doing tournament arcs. Mm. Do you feel, this is how I feel during tournament arcs. I'm just like fucking eyes glazed over, like hardly thinking as they go through like the obstacle course portion. Oh yeah. And just like waiting for the one-on-one fights. Once they get to it and you're just like. Yeah. I'm just like, punch. oh, finally, the show's begun. Yeah, absolutely. Do you also feel that way? Kind of, yeah. When it's like, there's like, we gotta get through, we gotta, because the entire idea is trimming the fat. Yeah. Like, you know, none of the important characters are gonna lose in the second round. Yeah. You know, everybody important is gonna make it to the last round, and then that's where they're gonna get cut or they're gonna become victorious. It only works, my hero did it well, because like, one. It was team battles. Well, it's team Oh, you're ba- talking about the sports festival. Yeah, the sports festival, where they're doing like, fucking, they have fight a big robot. They yeah. gotta go across a landmine field or whatever. <laughs> they gotta throw a baseball. Yeah. That my hero does it well because there's tension surrounding the fact that Deku is like hiding this power kind of mm-hmm. and doesn't know how to use it and it breaks his bones. Well, I was just thinking, what the fuck would he have done if Recovery Girl didn't exist? I was would just thinking like, oh, that just now. Ow. Yeah. Uh, look, look, what was he gonna do if there wasn't an older, like an elderly woman who was just smooth? Also, what's with that? Quit smooching. What? What's with that? Listen, when, what what do you want her to do? Just not smooch? I like, fucking just like lay a hand on him. Why are we having like a, like a 75 year old woman just like, come here, 14 year old. Time maybe, to get that bone straight, if you know maybe, what I mean. Maybe that's how it works. Like maybe. It is, it, that is how her ability works. She has yeah. to kiss people. So you're saying if she had to like rubber bussy on people, no, what I'm you'd saying want her is out of weird. a job? What I'm saying is it's weird that we're having a 75 year old woman communicate her healing power through the medium of kissing children. Yeah, but. So what, she should be like an adult nurse? What if it was a man? These kids gotta get healed somehow, my guy. (laughs) (laughs) You're right. You're right. Um, But like, as long as everyone's signing the waiver. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Um, Recovery Girls Bussy Factory. (laughs) Do you think think Recovery Girls like, oh, I gotta kiss them. I gotta gotta kiss them. I gotta, they're like, "Uh, your line was, here, give me your hand, I'll heal you. Yeah. Yeah, do you think it's like, they fucking like they catch her just healing someone by like touching their yeah, forehead. It's like, it's like the ugly kids. She's like, Ugh. yeah. And she's, then or Deku she like, comes in with a broken finger. She's like, give me that. Her- she's like, I need your nipples. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the healing comes in from. <laughs> yeah, it's the center of your chakra. Yeah. I gotta kiss it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like. <laughs> There's no better absorption point than the tip of yeah. your penis. Yeah, ugly kid comes in. She's like. <laughs> yeah, she like, you know, she's just, she's like, like, she like literally like, like kisses a napkin and like yeah, throws it at him. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm not kissing a bird. Yeah, yeah, I'm no, not no, doing the it. The fucking Windex bottle? How yeah. is he broken? Is his trigger broken? <laughs> um, but she's like, I could try some. She like starts unscrewing him. He's like, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 she's doing a whole chiropractic readjustment yeah. on him. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I wonder if it'd be better without her because the stakes would be higher. He'd have to like every time he shattered his arms, like another three months. Until yeah, that's, I mean, I guess that'd be cool. And then he has to like use his wits more. But like the, the the entire thing with Recovery Girl is her being like, if you keep doing this, these arms aren't gonna work. Yeah. Currently, Deku in the manga right now is just like duct taped yeah. together. He's literally <laughs> using his own ability to duct tape his body together. Yeah. And I'm like, he's not gonna come out of this. Yeah. I something I hate mm. with this thing because I love when he breaks his fingers. Yeah. I love when he like does the flick and each one breaks a finger. You know what I hate is when he gets to double break his fingers. That's what I'm saying. So fucking stupid. I hate that. I hate when it, it, he breaks his finger and it's and purple. It's like, pink. it's like pink and then he double breaks it. It's, <laughs> it's like purple. Oh. <laughs> I want I one where that. he just breaks it so hard it just fucking explodes. <laughs> Why? <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like oh, fuck my finger went with it. It's like running around like a twelve-year-old trying to catch a pop fly. Like, oh, oh, where is it? <laughs> Somebody catch it! <laughs> Recovery girl can't regrow grow fingers. I need yeah. to bring it. Yeah, yeah. I hate when he double breaks them. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah, it's like, fucking, you already did it. You use yeah. that arm. You're out of charges. Use your toes, coward. Yeah. And it's like, oh, so that's the thing. It's like, oh, it's double broken. That does it because it, it doesn't confer any extra level of pain or, or like stakes or circumstance. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, cool. It's still going to get healed the same way. Yeah. If it's, if it's once broken or thrice. Yeah. It's so fucking annoying. <laughs> Anyway, fuck you, MHA. Uh, anyways, uh, my other thing is that I openly weeped at Bochi the Rock over an anime concert. Yeah, you texted Stank. I think we talked about the. Oh, we talked about it on the Patreon. We thing. talked about how we needed a game. Yeah, you texted us and you were like, "We need a game." Uh, Danny's got to watch Bochi the Rock. Do we have a? What is this? We're Why are you just, we're, we're just only at an hour and twenty minutes. Do we have a game? We don't just have, we have a the game. anime opening game. I think. 
I would. I don't know this. What do you mean? What do you? I won't know it. What do you mean? Also, we'll get copywritten into oblivion. Well, that's the thing. As I was looking it up, I was like, is it? Some people say less than ten seconds. That's what I do. But yeah. music is harder. Music is harder. <laughs> we, Why don't you watch Boats of the Rock? We could play it, and then if it gets flagged, Stank could be like, just replace it with we elevator cut, music, we, we and then al- we're like, it was Black Butler. Like, we could also just cut that part and put it directly on Patreon. Shaw. Sure. Should we check? Should we? Should we? Should we do a brief aside here? A brief aside and um, open Discord possibly. Sure. Yeah. Nice. I have a receipt. Wait, Danny. Don't look at that. Wait, Danny. I'm getting a. I'm getting a. I'm getting. I'm getting a message in my head somehow. I'm getting. I think. I'm, uh, Danny. I think I'm. I'm having a psychic. I'm, I'm having a psychic experience, Danny. Yeah. Wait. Wait, Danny. They're telling me something about you. Go on. Wait, Danny. What? Hold up. I've never. I've never had voices in my head before, but they're telling me something about you. <laughs> okay. What? Have you been to Color Me Mine recently? Wait, Danny. How'd you do that? Wait, Danny. <laughs> I, Dan, no, I'm Danny, I'm not kidding. Danny, something is telling me. <laughs> Danny, something is telling me that you've been to Color Me Mine recently. The pottery shop, right? Where yeah. you, you paint your own pottery? How are you doing this? I don't. Wait, Danny. Danny, I'm scared. Danny, Danny, I don't. Danny, You're scared? Danny, did you go on the, did you go on the 24th? Uh, No. No? No. Why am I seeing? I'm seeing it was this month, right? It was recently. Yeah, it was like yesterday. It was yesterday? What the 29th. The four was a nine. No, it's the 30th. Today? Yeah, but yesterday it was the 29th. No, it wasn't. It was the 30th? Yeah, yesterday. I'm just seeing a three. I don't know why. I'm just seeing a three. A two, you mean? No, I'm seeing a three for the month March, Danny. Oh, yeah. What? What? How do you know? I'm just, I I'm have being, no... Danny, I'm being told! I didn't pull out any color wait, me wait, mind wait, thing. Danny, check what I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm hearing pants. Check my pants? pants. I'm hearing pants. I'm hearing butt, Danny. I don't know. I'm hearing check my butt. I'm hearing butt. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing butt and pants. How'd you do that? What is that? This is my receipt for color me mine. What? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Why is it so big? And now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the it's the pottery. It's, it's the cup I made. <laughs> Danny, Danny, how'd you do this, you sorcerer? I don't you know, witch. Danny. I'm so scared. How'd you do this? I don't I don't know what to tell you, Danny. I don't know what to tell you right now. I'm as scared as you are. This is impossible. I don't know what to tell you, Danny. Are we still waiting? I we are. We're he's still recording his audio. I pickpocketed I pickpocketed you earlier. What? I pickpocketed you no, earlier. You didn't. How'd I did. you get back in my pocket? I put it back in your pocket. No, you didn't. I fully did. Danny, how else would I know there was a Color Me Mine receipt in your back pocket? This doesn't make any sense. While you were setting up the YouTube Live, I, I pickpocketed you. Even your explanation doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, I'm sneaky. You slippery boy. Wow. Not only Danny can run bits, I can do it as well. Wow, an Easter betrayal. An Easter betrayal, baby. All right, so what? how are we doing this thing? So am I reading the questions and then you guys will just guess? So you are gonna you are going to run it over. Okay, gotcha. All right. So Stank is going to answer. Here's what I say. Nick shouldn't get to look at the questions. I'm not, Good. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm making it so that he'll be as, as heard as possible for our live YouTube audience. Boom. All right, Stank, we're ready. All righty. So first question. October 3rd is a notable date in both Full Metal Alchemist and what popular 2000s romantic comedy? Oh, October 3rd. Oh, 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 oh. Mean Girls? Fuck. Yeah. Fuck, right. let's go! Fuck! I knew that too. Somebody, uh, keep dragging. Oh, how are you gonna grab for the dollar? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I've... There you go. Um, God damn that's, it. That's a great a question. Good one. That's a great question. Steve. I like that you brought in non anime. Yeah. <laughs> All right. God damn it. All right. That's like the how one non anime many... question I could answer to. <laughs> how many members of the Lower Moons did Muzan kill? Uh, four. Everyone but Rui and Enmu. Yep. Bingo, bingo, I like bongo. how you did that leisurely because you knew I had no idea. I had time, baby. <laughs> Stanky, you also have to keep score. It's 1-1. One, one. I know, but we're yep. going to... Oh, sure, we can remember when it's 1-1, one, one, but it's 6-7. We're going to fucking lose it. Panda Mom's also keeping keeping score in the chat. She's oh, awesome. hell yeah. Thank you, Panda Mom. We're going to meet her in Houston. Oh, nice. All right. So, next question. Where was Kettle's farm located in Vinland Saga? Uh, it's in fucking Denmark. Yep. Peak. The Danes. The Danes. <laughs> you didn't. You wouldn't have got that. 
No. No, oh, geography. I was going to say Vinland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Vinland. <laughs> All right. In Skypea, which straw hats were eaten by the giant snake? Uh, Put it back. Sanji and Luffy. No. I know. I'll take that. Just say it. I'll take that. It's uh, it's Luffy, Nami, and... Oh, fuck. I know it's Luffy and Nami. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's Luffy, Nami, and... Chopper is not there. I think it's Luffy, Nami, and Chopper is my final answer. Uh, I'm going to say no because it's just Luffy and Nami. I feel, like I, I feel like I get that. I feel like you don't. I feel like I, I, fully, feel like you don't. I feel like I fully get that. I said Luffy. You said Luffy and Sanji. You said uh, Luffy, Nami, and Chopper. I said I think Chopper was there. That's an answer. You can't be like on the price is right. Oh, oh. I think it's 500 bucks, and then it's not. And you're like, well, in my heart of hearts, I knew it was 700. No, no they were like, oh, hey, hey, here, there's two cars. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think <laughs> of a good comparison. I got, all right, <laughs> give me, listen, listen. If there's a tie, that point wins it for me. All right. That's final. Fine. Deal. Okay. What anime actually popular, popularized the Naruto run? I, mm, Let me let's think it out. I, let's work together. <laughs> what anime actually popularized the <laughs> this anime? Is a tough one. No, this is a, this is a pop culture thing can, here. Can we get a can we get a follow up hint? Um. Wait 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 Nick, wait, wait Nick just pulled it. Nick like pulled it. Shut up, Nick. Pull, sh wait, Stank, what were you saying? <laughs> shut up, Nick. <laughs> Stank, don't say it. Hey, Stank, what were you saying? <laughs> I just want, I don't want to step on I don't want to step on our employee. Nick has the dollar. Don't give a hint. Is it is it Toriko? No. Fuck. Put it back. Give the hint. Okay, uh, it is an '80s to '90s anime. Uh, very popular. Fist of the North Star? No, Saint Seiya. Never would have gotten Saint it. Saint Seiya. They do run like that in Saint Seiya. Deep cut. All right, no one gets it. Okay. <laughs> what main character from another popular anime made an appearance in Death Parade? Which I realize now Danny has not seen this. Death so. Note, <laughs> it's light. He goes to hell. Yeah, it nice. is light. I was going to say Natsu. <laughs> Natsu, yeah. Nats Natsu's down there. Oh, God fucking paint at the table. <laughs> Code Geass took a sponsor from what major food corporation? Pizza. Yeah. Why are these all for Nick? Have you not seen Code Geass? Not the Pizza Hut ad. It's, uh, they're, uh, they're like, oh, wow, that was a good coding Geass we did. And then they're like, now let's eat Pizza Hut. It's every, <laughs> like, every three episodes Pizza Hut's That's involved. That's hype. Yeah. I love that. All right. What does Guhin give Legoshi to test his crush to test if his crush on Haru is real. Pornography. <laughs> yes. Right, yeah. Let's go. Gives him rabid porn. Thank God. I feel like the answer should have been rabid porn. It wasn't regular porn. Porn is porn. Porn is not when it's got rabid. I feel like that's a that's a feel like that's an important distinction. <laughs> if you if you, you you walk into your son's room, oh nice Maxim. You walk into your son's room and it's busty rabbits. It's a whole different conversation. Nice porn. Nice Regardless. porn. Regardless. See, you found my stack. <laughs> yeah. All right, fine. All right. What anime was an inspiration for Indiana Jones? Wait. This is another older one. Indiana Jones was inspired by this anime? Yes. Older one? Okay. Lupin? Lupin the third, yeah. What? Wow. Fucking girl. I just saw the hat. It's all the hat, man. Good guess. Thank I'm you. Thank you. Solid guess. All right. The voice actor for the Japanese version of Vegeta also voices what character in the Super Smash Bros. series? You're just taking Captain Falcon? Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! What a good guess. I know. You didn't know I was what just going guess. deep voice characters. It was that or uh, it was that or Ganondorf? Bingo. That'd be good to Alright. That's all our trivia. Nick wins. Woo! What a landslide. What a, what a demolition. Six to two. Let's fucking go. I get to keep the dollar. I get to keep the dollar. Just kidding. Take it. Take, Take the dollar. I don't, I don't want your. I don't want your dirty no, money. No, I like that. Money. I like that as a steak. No, not a problem. Wait. Uh, you have to watch Bochi the Rock. Okay. You're gonna love it. 
Yeah. It's so goddamn good. I'm excited. It's so sweet. It seems good. And your fan base will love it. They will. They'll love it. I don't think I'll react to it, though, because it's like, I think I'll get copywritten into oblivion. Because the songs? Yeah. That's fair. Music on top of it being from Japan. Mm. I can't think of a worse combination. That's fair. I don't know. Do it for Patreon. Except you, if you whenever you do a Patreon show, it take you eight years. You're like, yeah. oh, yeah, we're doing this Patreon show until 2026. I do an episode a month. Yeah. So it's a year. Yeah. A full year. Yuck. All right. Uh, do you have any flashbacks? Uh, no, because you took the only one of the week. There's no news this week. Solo leveling got a second season. What news? What what incredible news? Do you have a best boy? Uh, yes, I do have a best boy. Cool. Sarah. Because she's going. Because she's going to kill the president. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's go. I My think... best boy, Joe Biden. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude. If you, be, be so fucking for real. If it came down to it, who do you think would win in a fight? Sarah Joe Biden? Yeah. I think she could fucking punch through Joe Biden. <laughs> I've, we've, we've made this joke before. I was like, I think he's made a paper mache. Yeah. You think so? I think Sarah. So. Okay, let's not sit here and act like Sarah's a heavyweight contender. No, she's for sure five not. two. She's yeah. adorable. Sarah also has herbivore teeth <laughs> where like she has no canine teeth. None of her teeth are sharp. It's very off putting at first. <laughs> she has entirely square teeth. <laughs> she's got fucking just like just celery monsters. Yeah. She's just not meant to hurt a thing. That's so funny. Uh, yeah, is yeah. murder is murder uh, outside of the bounds for a vegan? Don't eat them. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> fair, very fair. Yeah. But it's not like they're like, oh wow, just kill the cow as long as you don't eat them, we're good. Yeah, vegans are very torn between like kill shelters and no kill shelters. Mm -hmm. I don't like this isn't what you were hoping for, no. but, but like, like, so kill shelters when they get to capacity, they will kill the dog, Yes, which or a turtle or cat or yeah, whatever or the, the animal, which on the surface sounds horrible. Mm. It's more a result of breeders being horrible because there's yeah. just too many dogs. Yeah. So if you have, when you have no kill shelters, they're to capacity. So they're either turning away animals. So animals are just like being on the street still, yeah. or they just like don't have the funds or space. They're just stuffed to the brink with animals. Yeah. So a lot of vegans are like, it sucks that there are kill shelters, but like they may be a necessary evil. My fucking, my answer to it is, oh, we're at capacity, we're a kill shelter. Just take the dogs, release them in downtown LA. Yeah. They'll get fed. You know, yeah. like, like we, we had this moral conundrum. And because actually, if any of you are looking for an incredible Siberian Husky, uh, Dorothy stumbled upon a Siberian Husky at work a couple weeks ago. His name was Milo. Milo, it was sweet. It loved other dogs. It loved Dorothy. It loved Claire. I was abandoned. Unfortunately, a lot of dogs get abandoned around where Dorothy lives. Um, we've been waiting for it to come off hold. It just came off hold. Its original owners weren't kind of like, aren't going to come for it. it. It was microchips. We had to wait. Um, it was like a five day holding thing. So if any of you are in the LA area or want to come to the LA area, the Baldwin Park Humane Society has a fantastic dog named Milo. Um, we will not be um, boarding this dog again. Unfortunately, we just our Too dog. Traumatic, our yeah. dogs aren't built for it. We learned that. Yeah. Um, Neutron is Wagyu isn't, so. which is fair. It's like yeah. unreasonable to be like uh, you know expecting your two giant pit bulls to get along Along with, with every, every dog, random comes. ass dog. Yeah. yeah, and it wasn't even like it was. That was more the dog we were harboring yeah. than the dogs we have. But anyway, so if you guys. Uh, won an incredible Siberian Husky. She was uh, he was about like seventy ish pounds, super cute, um, good mannered, good dog. Baldwin Park Humane Society that would it, mean a lot to both me and Dorothy. Is this a different shelter than the one you got Blanca from? No, that's the same one. It's same one. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, they just so like they're just like every single day. It's just like so many dogs yeah. get abandoned in the Baldwin Park area. That shelter fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah, they're not great. But they didn't tell you Blanca was deaf. That's crazy. Nope. Yeah. No, they didn't. So uh, if, if you get this dog, make sure you fucking fully hearing. bring questions. Fully hearing dog. This, yeah. one, this one defo can hear. Yeah, Blanca, yeah. Well, it took us like three days to realize Blanca was yeah. deaf. But like only three days. Yeah. You know, but they also have like a gajillion dogs. No, so, you know, sure, so yeah. you can only focus on them so much. But yes. Um. So I guess my best boy is Milo. Go adopt him. Nice. Any outside of that, we have our love letters, which is the part of the show where me and Danny pull our live audience from both YouTube and Patreon with any questions they want to ask us. So if you want to hang out with me and Danny live, please guys, either become a YouTube member or a Patreon member. Uh, Patreon pays us more, same price for either, but we want both to be as accessible to you. So outside of being able to watch me and Danny live, you'll also get two hours of additional content a month of me and Danny playing some video games. Recently, we did Helldivers. We put up four hours this month to catch up for the month that we missed, but... If you guys want that additional content and to watch us live, please become a member. So Jenna asks, 
What's one anime villain that you wanted to win? Or what's one anime hero you wanted to lose? An anime villain I wanted to win just out of sheer, like, I know if he loses, I'm not going to see him anymore. Yeah. Is Mahito in season two of JJK. I was like, and at the moment, like at the time of the fight, I was like, this is, we're wrapping up Mahito. Oh, like, yeah. this is a perfect time. He's got his perfect form. He's yeah. like, I know the shape of my soul. It's like, oh, yeah. I'm going to die. I know. This is a great time for this to be his final fight. But I was like, you're so, your powers are so goofy and fun. I want you around for the entire show. Yeah. Like, he makes every fight he's in, like, infinitely more entertaining. Yeah. And his final form so sick. It was really cool. Yeah. Like, his, like, Warframe face and yeah. all that was dope. I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to say a hero I want to lose. I want Deku to lose so fucking badly. Really? I want Deku. Listen, MHA's ending is it's just everything that we thought it was going to be. It's so formulaic. It's mm. so straight down center field. It's like, I'm going to reach out to the Shigaraki inside of you. And I'm going to, I'm going to bring that little boy out and we're going to save you. I want him to fail yeah. so fucking badly. And I want Shigaraki to like destroy half of Japan. And Deku just has to like, be like, I have to kill this dude. Like, I just want like Deku to be like, Oh my God, I have to kill him. Like, I like, that's yeah. like what I want. I'm this whole hero's journey. And, and of course it's MHA. Of course it's going to end that way. It's a story about super powered teens in a school, but Oh my God, what I love for Deku to lose at this point. I, I think I've just been, I'm like, my brain chemistry has been warped by Chainsaw Man and Jujutsu Kaisen and now Boruto. And I'm like, Oh, I want the worst for you. I really do. Like, I want him to come out victorious, but I want a couple more students to die. Yeah. No, no one, no one's dying. No one's I feel dying. that. I feel that a hundred percent. I oh, there's so many shows where I'm like, God, just give me one like incredibly dark turn yeah. out of nowhere. I felt that with a, my answer for like a hero I wish lost, mm -hmm. Nezuko. I wish Nezuko died in season three. <sighs> But like, okay, so Nezuko, I understand being like, oh, like Tanjiro making that like split time decision to give up Nezuko yeah. is like, would have so much weight it could carry with him for the rest of the show. But like Nezuko becoming immune to the sun is a massive plot point to move the plot forward. Yeah, so it's like, just boring. I know, I know. But like her being like, yeah, her saving that moment and like just being like, oh, the power of love and sunshine. I can now be a demon who's like able to like exist out of the sun. And it's like, we haven't found the blue spider lily yet. So Nezuko becomes the blue spider lily right. that, I almost said Maharaga. What's his fucking name? Uh, Michael Jackson. Yeah, Muzan. Muzan now needs, he's like, I need Nezuko. So that moves the plot forward. But like, you could also just like be like, oh, Nezuko's ashen body helped grow blue spider lilies or something. Yeah, and then Muzan true. could hear about that, right? Yeah, you you can like find a way to move the plot forward. Oh, for sure. Yeah, Very I hated easily. the death bait. Yeah, it's just, and that's the thing, is like, that's really the only time that Demon Slayer's ever done it. You know, Except like, uh, with Anosuke. Tanjiro and Anosuke. Well, Tanjiro, you're like, this guy's yeah, sticking stick around. around. Yeah. Anosuke. No, it's getting big Mo death bait. Moving his fucking organs is a bit silly. Yeah, he got stabbed through the fucking, like, mouth. Did or no, that's Tondro. Yeah, he got stabbed, stabbed the in mouth. the heart. Yeah, Which is, like, objectively, pretty much the best place you could be stabbed. Yeah, it's not bad, for I sure. I mean, that's like, I'll get stabbed. I, mean, I don't want to be stabbed. As long as it misses tongue. If I, three inches. All right, three inches of stab. Where are you taking it? Shoulder. Right? Yeah. I think I say ass. If I, ass is good. Ah, but then when you're, when you're recovering. Can you do it, like, bar ways? So, like... Not three inches, like, towards bone, but, like, three inches oh, pure cross. fat. Yeah. That's better. Yes. That's better. You're not getting... The closer you get to the bone, the more painful it is. Yeah, that's fair. All right, here's another question to end us off in an incredibly happy and Easter-filled note. Um, saw trap. You ever seen the saw trap where they have to cut off parts of themselves and whoever cuts off more wins? <laughs> yeah. What part are you cutting off? Uh, I think that girl was on the right track with cutting off her whole arm that's the thing i cut off i cut off below my knee on my left leg that's a better idea yeah yeah the leg is definitely a better idea you know where they fucked up what take off your clothes you just the weight it's it's just weight it's not like measuring blood chemically you're just filling a scale you're filling or a scale yeah just lean on the scale yeah <laughs> you know or just like you gotta pee yeah you know, exactly pee, pee. pee throw up yeah yeah. Oh, like one guy's trying to like take slices of his belly off and yeah. I'm like, I can pee way faster than that. <laughs> yeah. Way faster. Yeah, at least start by taking off your clothes. That's yeah. like what, five pounds? And did you have a big lunch before this? Yeah, throw up. That's a great option. Yeah. You got poop? Easy trap. Easy trap. Easy saw trap. Yeah, that's fucking, that's the one I'm getting out of. You know what the worst saw traps are? The ones that are meant to kill you? Well, for sure. Like Angel of Death? You know what the dumbest people in saw traps are? 
the ones where there's like a trap where it's like you have to break all your fingers to do this or whatever or like you know you got to stab out both your eyes to live i hate when they do one at a time if you like there's one saw trap where a guy's tied to a bed Uh. he's got two little like buttons like he's on a game show yeah and his arms and legs are tied to the bed and the his limbs will all get ripped off unless he presses the buttons which will stab hooks into his eyes. Yeah. He has to blind himself or he'll get torn apart. He does it, but he only gets to one eye and he's like, this sucks. I hate this. Yeah. And they rip off his limbs. Yeah. If you've brought yourself to do one, yeah, why just would you, do both at the same time. They're going to hurt at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Do both immediately. Break all your fingers all in one go. Yeah. Cowards, Absolute idiots, losers, and idiots. All right, cool. Thanks for hanging out with us on this Easter Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. We appreciate you taking a little time to spend a little time with me and Danny, uh, who we like to believe are the second coming of of Christ. Yeah, I, I'd say we we I, listen. I'll I'll die for three days if it means people celebrate me. Anyways, yeah, ha- happy Easter Blunt Day, everybody. Yeah, yeah. four twenty. What 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 do you, what do you mean? Three thirty one. <laughs> what does that have to do with blunts? I don't know. You're an idiot. Yo, thank God we aren't recording this tomorrow because it's April 1st and I'm not prepared. Oh, the, oh, fuck. Yeah. I don't have a, oh, it's going to be a Monday. I don't post on Mondays. I have no. I have to film my Hunter Hunter is coming back video. My yearly Hunter Hunter is coming back <laughs> yeah. video. God damn it. Yeah. I, I have no bits planned. It's no going to be a boring either. thing. It's too late now. I can't get that edited by tomorrow. Yeah. Fuck. Tough. God. Edit it yourself. No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know how to do just that. Just to get it out. You just, it's moving blocks. I don't like that. <laughs> I have like a long day of like possibly watching Korean reality television plan for the Oh, night. oh, poor babe. I'm going to have a long Poor fun. baby. Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. All right. I've been Nancy Hammer 23, also known as the Weeb Commander. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Dan. I've been Danny Mata. Um, that's it. You always make it seem like I have to say a bunch. I'm just Danny Mata. You got anything coming up? You got anything to plug? Um, oh, come see this clock. See, look, come see it. Look. <laughs> You want to do this one? Come see us at Comic Palooza in Houston, mm, May. Hopefully not April. May, <laughs> May 24th through the 26th. 26th. Yes. Ish. Yes. Uh, We're doing nine there. panels between the two of us. We're so. doing a lot of panels. So it's if too you want to watch television with Daniel yeah. or hear me talk about Hunter Hunter somehow, I really don't know what I'm going to talk about. Me neither. I don't know. Like, Suggest what, us. Comment yeah, what you want to see us talk about. Yeah, comment what you want our panels to be because like I don't- Help. I don't like 45 minutes on Hunter Hunter. What am I supposed to do? Be like Hunter Hunter is good because they, like everyone, everyone knows that you got to do crowd work. I'm Should telling I- you, it helped so much because I'm not just going to give a Ted talk. They emailed us and they're like, you should do something on avatar. I'm not going to be like, like, what does that even mean? What does that mean? What am I going to do? I got to do crowd work. You got to, that <laughs> you got to do like, um, you got to do like, Hey, uh, avatar things you missed in avatar. Like yeah, film exactly. a YouTube video, but at a comic con, yeah, like at comic Palooza, sure. Right. I know. I just have no, idea yeah we'll figure it out we'll figure it out we'll it went probably. great when i did uh colossal con so just know that we're good at it who have kind of ghosted me really i sent my i sent alex to figure it out and then they were like hey let's get on a phone call and then the person running it was like no phones and Whoa. then he was like uh email and then we haven't heard back since so maybe they're busy probably yeah all right bye and now for my next number i'd like to return to the